lá na noite. Good love, we're good there. Our, yeah, yeah. Our Instagram love. We here, we live, we live. Let's get this shit sent out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know how we start to have this. Uh, good vibes, good energy, man. Just for this point. You know what I mean? Good vibes, good energy, man. That's a weird volume. Yeah. I'm almost finished with this. Yeah, I was born a lot this week. It was the relief. Yeah, that's the thing that ends in here. We here, baby. I'm going back for the blood. I'm going for the blood. Yeah. <laughs> What's good, man? All right, man. Let's get it. Let's get to the episode, man. Shout out to, shout out to DJ. Yes, sir. What's good, everybody out there? This episode, we at 63 now? 60 fucking three. Damn, we getting old, bro. Wow. Yeah, look at this beard. Yo, yo this Italian day. This Italian day. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right, so let's. What we drinking? What we drinking for Italian Day, Ted? Well, you hey, know, man. Oh, I got some for us too, by the way. You know, you know, we on that uh, on that good tequila, man. Shit. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that Teramana. It's kind of a throwback. Like this in thirty minutes. Kind of it, a throwback for us, yo. You know, what I'm saying we took it back to little Casa days, little Casa Amigos. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, Casa Amigos. You guys are brave, bro. I'll brave. so. You guys are brave. Dangerous All right. Game. All right, man. We in the zone. Shout out, little bro Vante in this zone. Shout out, Danny boy Tats in this bitch. You feel me? Hey, yo, we should add him. If you guys, we should add him to the co-host zone too. By the way, you feel me? Yeah, we can put him in. We definitely family at this point. I got. I'm gonna keep it close to you, the comments and everything. So just keep us posted. Hey, yo, anything that happened in sports, y'all let us know in the comments. We gonna talk about it. You feel me? Um, you should bring up the notes if you can. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get to it. Um, how is everybody's week? You know, I heard that we we drank a tequila, but um, it was obviously a big week. The week was great, bro. I can't even complain, man. We have a birthday this week. Yeah, Let's clap it up yeah man. Thank you, guys. Are you ready you to say? tell the people how old you have turned? Uh, Damn, bro. 20, 29, bro. 29. Damn, I thought it was what? <laughs> Nigga, I wish. I wish I was turning 27. He's 29. Yo. That's a fact, bro. 29. That's crazy. Some, do y'all ever be forgetting how old y'all is, though? Like, for real yeah. sometimes? Yeah. It happens. I, I literally had to sit there and think the about it. Well, okay. I, well, look, Kivya, in your case, I guess it's a little bit easier, right? Because, you know, you got the... Whoa. Damn. So, was that fucked up? Yeah, yeah, it is. Did I just age shame him? I'm sorry, bro. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, oh, man. 100%. I'm sorry. I can't wait but, till we get grades. I'm going to age yeah, shame you. You got, shame no you got no beard. Bro, that's because I choose not to. You know, I shave, you right. know, because I'm a, I'm an adult. I'm a grown man, you know, so the beard gets heavy sometimes, so I shave it off, you know? Oh, you can't grow it at all. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah. It, I, yeah. It's I just shave it. You know, it grows too much. What you doing your B-Day, man? Shout out G Nova in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Shout out G Nova. Hey, G Nova. You feel me? Cruise on the way, but Vegas is coming first. And maybe we can talk Vegas. to that. Talk about that. Hey yo, we we going to Vegas, May. Um, Idiot Seven. Just throwing it out there. Live episode of Vegas or what? SATs and LV. I'm with it. I'm. I'm. You know what I'm saying? Throwing it out. Always there. down to travel, so. Okay, for sure. So yeah, Yay. definitely we'll we'll talk we'll talk about this shit for sure more. Then that's a big bet. 
But uh, how was your birthday though, bro? You know, how nah, was bro, it was good, man. Uh, Thursday, what I ended up doing? My mom, she did like a little crab boil at the crib, man. We we bust down on some good food, uh, drank some good drink, and yeah, man, it's it, it's been a vibe, man. I to be honest with you, bro, like I don't know about y'all. It's like the older you I get. Drunk from your birthday? Hell no. What? You said what? You still drunk from your birthday? You said what? Are you still drunk from your birthday? Oh, um, nah, I'm not still drunk. I mean, I've been drunk the last couple of days, but uh, uh, can't hear you. What'd you say? You just burped and talked. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. You gotta, you know, you gotta keep it moving. But okay. um, nah, the birthday was great though, man. Oh yeah. Hey yo, we got big scene on this man. man. Hold up, hold up. Here, yes. Casino too, by the way. Huh? Uh, yep. you, 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 uh, you, uh, you just had an injury. You know, what I'm saying you're you're down for the count a little bit. Nigga, what the fuck did you do, bro? Uh, it's YouTube. <laughs> man, I was cooking some salmon, and then and the salmon decided to cook me back, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it decided to get his little revenge before I, you know, before his last breath. What you were cooking on the grill or you were cooking on the stove? On the stove and some oil, man. I I decided to dip the salmon in the oil and the oil just kind of jumped at me. I wasn't expecting the oil to like to rise up the way it did. And both of my fingers actually got caught, but the pinky got the worst of it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Marco and this bitch, you feel me? All right, so we can get into some sports news now. Um, I guess we can kick it off because it's, it's about football heavy. No more NFC East news. Nothing happening in the NFC East. Uh, the Eagles are still the best team in the East. Um, I was thinking about Cino today, though, before I see that he burned his uh, fingers. I was like, damn. Um, you know, this, this little Cowboys Eagles, that rivalry, this, it keeps us close during uh, the fall season and stuff like that. It was like, I ain't seen him for a minute the whole time. So I kind of missed that. You know what I mean? But um, Coco Gall, she goes off on the umpire in Dubai. Um, off of a late call, they called it out and it wasn't out, but they called it very, very late. You know what I'm saying? And it was just a, it was just a, a messed up call altogether. She was right about it, but I never seen her go off like that. Tevin, I know you a big Coco, Coco fan. Um, how you feel about this? You know, just seeing her a little bit, how her character and shit. Like, I'm saying that's true. Look though, bro. Like, defend yourself, bro. If you honestly I'm, feel like it was the wrong call, which it, it was, was, then it was. call them out, bro. And and in the moment too, like I was watching the video and I'm like. Bro, it's just so funny sometimes, like, how people's pride get in the way. Like, bro, just call the supervisor, review the play, and move on, bro. Like, I feel like the umpire made it a bigger deal than what it was, to be honest. He wasn't trying to call the supervisor, though. I feel like that's a problem with officiating a lot in a lot of sports, though. Like, when they're wrong, dead wrong, they don't never apologize for it and actually make an excuse on they it. double down. Yeah, like, double down on shit. So, like, I think that's a problem in officiating just, like, in, like just wide spread in sports. You always know, stop I, that all. Like what? if the official, like somebody got slapped real hard in the face or kicked in the nuts, that would stop that like immediately. Nobody okay. would make everybody would everybody would be taking accountability. A ref for the ref and accountability ref for the ref. Yeah, nah, yeah. Let, yeah. let them get penalized for for stupid shit like that too. That's stupid. a fact. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I think I feel that. I definitely. Feel that. I thought in tennis though. I thought. Um, I thought it was kind of like automatic as far as like how they make the calls, right? Like I thought it was all kind of like AI generated. You can I think actual. You can so what? I thought too. Okay, got you. Yeah, but uh, you can you definitely allowed to challenge the call and stuff like that. I don't know why. I don't. I didn't see the see the game or the, I just saw kind of saw the clips and stuff like that. But yeah, that was that was a little crazy. But uh, shout out to Coco Golf though. You know what I'm saying? Just AO. Hey, they ready for the French Open? And they ready for the real, these real tournaments? You feel me? When is French Open again? Was that uh, February? Or gen- next month, actually, right? Uh, I think that's. I think. I think March. I think like late March. March. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's get the Bills. Or the Bills news. He's oh, expected. Bills, yeah. Bills. Okay. All right. So Buffalo Bills. Gabe Davis is expected to leave the team in free agency. Uh, thoughts and comments, reactions to that. I want to know y'all thoughts and comments because that was y'all boy last year. So. <laughs> uh, I'm actually pretty shocked at that. I thought they would have probably he probably would have stayed with the Bills more than likely. They but got they got uh Khalil Sha- Shakir. Shakir. Yeah. And he's a rising star. Pretty they got Khalil Shakir on the come up. So um What do you think Davis goes now? 
I think he's. I think. I think on, on I think the right circumstance, see. he could be a number one. But I, I mean, somewhere where they need a, a number two. What about Dallas? That's why I wanted. Yeah. I wanted. Actually, I'm curious what Ceno think about that. Gabe Davis. Yeah. Don't do I think that. it's an upgrade from Brandon Cook. So. Am I tripping? You might be tripping. Uh, uh, he's gonna get you yards uh, and TDs, bro. These Dallas people. I mean, I mean, Gabe Davis, decent. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be geeked up to have him. I say that. I, I agree. Think, make I a big think, uh, Mar- Marco asked, "Y'all think uh, if we think Stephon Diggs is about to leave as well? I, if Gabe Davis is leaving, there's no way in hell Diggs is leaving." Yeah. Why would, Diggs, why would Diggs be leaving? They, well, you know, they, they, they get the ball. Yeah. It's rumors that it's some like beef there and stuff like that, but I don't know. Diggs wasn't getting the ball, man. I mean, but like you said, David. If, if, when he if, counted, if, he had he had a shot at the the one that counted the season though, and he dropped that one. I would have dropped it too. Throw me the ball more. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been doing. Like, it. You said, that, Don't depend on me that, now. See, Lamb dropped a lot of balls. Right. Yep. Woo. Yeah, like, hey, that right, boy ain't got nothing to say. That boy ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> like hit CD Lamb in the hands and he <laughs> dropped it. Like like Dak was pissed. I told y'all, man, that. it wasn't a part of the script for us to get past the first round, bro. God damn. Score! They wasn't gonna let us do that. <laughs> I mean, we we'll let you guys do that every year, but it, it's okay. All right, that so, was I mean, yeah. All right, sure. Go ahead. Uh, should high receiver Calvin Ridley re-sign with Jacksonville? The Jaguars would owe a second-round pick to Atlanta, number 48 overall, as part of the conditions from their trade last year. The Falcons currently have a third-round pick, number seven, number 79 overall via Jacksonville. Um, uh, y'all think y'all, what y'all think? Y'all think Calvin Ridley should stay with Jacksonville? I think he should. I think he should. I think stay so. I think he's worth a second-round pick, bro. But it's a deep draft now. I mean, like, I don't want to make that mistake though. It is a deep ass draft. I mean, I feel like he 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 had a pretty good decent season coming back off of the suspension because he had a thousand yard season. Bro, he was he was my man's in fantasy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, had, I, I think he had like eight or eight anywhere from eight to ten touchdowns this uh this season. So I think he should stay. But they play they pay so many receivers in Jacksonville because they got Christian Kirk, that might be the uh, thing. Christian Kirk, uh, Zay Jones. Jones. Um, bro, they 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 uh they got another uh Parker Washington, homie. I picked up on free agency in uh in uh the dynasty league. Mm-hmm. By the way, is there any update on that? Is Casino Casino getting this league or not? Oh uh yeah, I just gotta hit up Eber to be honest with you because I think yeah one of the homies he's not playing next year, so yeah you just have to take over his team to be honest with you. All right, bet. All right, so bet. yeah, that that was the last update we had. Yeah, <laughs> That's, yeah, facts. Yeah, just hit up Eben, Tevin. Fucking. What is wrong with you? Bro, we're like, bro, we're so far away from when the season starts, bro. The literally, we just had the Super Bowl like two weeks ago, bro. All right, yeah, we got time. Whatever. Jazz ready. <laughs> that boy ready, ready, bro. As soon as as soon as he could make trades, bro, he started making trades, bro. Absolutely, and I like yeah, my team already. Time. My team is already upgraded. And yeah. thank you again for Brock Purdy. Like, I cannot thank you enough for that. <laughs> yeah, I hooked up a lot of people. Yeah, no not, but not me though. When it counted. Uh I, I did you a couple solids. I did you a couple yeah. solids. You know. All right. I think I think Calvin. If Calvin really does go, well, first of all, did we even ask? Like, I guess Gabe Davis. I, I did. Do we? If y'all have any uh, prediction on where he would go? If not, if not Dallas, bro, Kansas City should be in the market yeah, for would, a receiver. I would, I would say Kansas City. So and, and that's my answer as well for Calvin Ridley. If Calvin really leap, bro, if they if the Jacksonville Jaguars allows him to go to the Kansas City Chiefs, it is over. Oh, it's over. Over for the NFL for the next three years. It's over, bro. I agree. Somebody say, are y'all saying we y'all want him to go, or we y'all think he's gonna? Go? Well, I think he'll go. I think Dallas. I think Dal- I think for Gabe, Dallas, Kansas City Chiefs makes sense to me. Um, I think even Atlanta makes a little bit of sense to be honest with you. Who's throwing the ball to him in Atlanta? Yeah, they're nah, getting a quarterback. They will get a quarterback. Atlanta's gonna get a QB. They, you think? Look, man, I, you know me. I love Justin Fields. So if I'm Atlanta, I'm definitely trying to get Justin Fields. I can't believe y'all running. Hey, Sean Michaela, Michaela. You're still on. Well, I mean, you got Daniel Jones as your quarterback. Of course, you're gonna like anybody. Oh All my of them God. That give away. <laughs> no, for real. Ready. We'll be ready to pick up. Look, shout out to everybody with the uh, with that shit. The amount of disrespect in that comment, Kivia, is ridiculous. 
just gonna well, say it's that. It's true. My God, no, you're, 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 a superstar. you're not the level wrong. Of back in that comment is ridiculous. You're not wrong. It's just that, like, sometimes it's hard to like you know, like admit that we don't have the guy and we haven't had the but, guy, bro, and it's okay. But, that, but then, therefore, Justin Fields is the answer in Atlanta? Uh, look, Justin Fields looked great last year after coming back from that injury, Justin bro. Justin Fields is the answer maybe in Pittsburgh, not Atlanta. I think I think you get done in Atlanta, bro. Think, you know what? I like Pittsburgh for Justin Fields. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the good – that's the setup for him. That's a good coach. I don't really want to go back to Atlanta. I don't think not after how they kind of did him. He won't go back there anyway. Well, no, no. I'm talking about Gabe Davis. I'm not talking about uh, Gabe Davis really. Atlanta. I guess, or maybe even because um also can't uh, the Chargers are losing possibly losing Mike Williams. He'll probably get to it a little bit later. But um, that would so be a sneaky good one. Chargers, yep. you know what I'm saying? Especially with That's that revamp. Real good, how they trying to revamp? You know what I mean? Gabe Davis over there. He's got a he's got somebody to throw the football. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna make a lateral movement. As yeah, a receiver. Exactly. Yeah. So he could throw the football out there. Um, so I guess uh so Tuesday, basically until March 5th, NFL teams can designate franchise or transition players, tag and tag candidates includes Josh Allen from the Jaguars, uh, the linebacker, Daquan Barkley, Tevin's uh dog ball MVP, uh Brian Burns, Kyle Duggar, T. Higgins, Josh Jacobs, uh Baker Mayfield, Michael Pittman. Antoine Winfield, some of the credit, more credible names, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what y'all think? Who stays? Josh Allen is a big one, bro. I think the Jaguars yeah. definitely want to try, try to keep uh, Josh Allen. They probably oh, yeah, they're going to do anything they can to keep that. He's a, he's a franchise quarterback. Saquon Barkley, though. I'm hearing – I'm seeing him pair with a lot of teams that's not New York. Oh, teams. man. The one that Look, scares me the most is, is the Chiefs. It, it, Saquon Barkley goes to the Chiefs. I didn't hear that one. I saw no, the one, but I was, I was thinking it. The Texans. I've seen yeah. Texans. I've seen Baltimore. I think honestly, I think he'd be a good fit in Baltimore. To, yeah, to I'm about to say he he probably could go to Baltimore because he ain't hurt that, in Baltimore. Any 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 running back for Baltimore. <laughs> he's getting hit. He's getting hurt in Baltimore. Why 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 do you think go that? to Baltimore to end because they don't got running back. Facts. They don't got no good luck with injury. Great to not run. The, it's, he's too oh, great. Okay, he get hurt, hurt hurt too much. He's Anthony Davis of football. I mean, no, he's going to be back up with uh, oh, 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 oh. Lamar Jackson. Whoa, 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 relax. That is a hot take. That definitely okay. was. He's going to be back up to Lamar Anthony Jackson. Davis. Lamar Jackson, number one running You're back right. in Baltimore. He's not even as accomplished as Anthony Davis. You're right. That's disrespect to Anthony Davis, not Saquon. Let's get that very clear. Wow. wow. It just kept getting Anthony worse Anthony Davis has one brow, too. Yeah. Think one brow. Lethal. But I will say, though, uh, the Giants, yeah, they're not going to franchise tag him again. You I don't think they'll do that. Hey, you play for Penn State? Nah, hey, yo, go to Philly. You won't go to Philly, bro. Hey, you, you, feel me? you be sick as shit. I'll be sick as fuck if you went to the fucking. We need a tougher bet. We need, we need, like, Derrick Henry. We need a Derrick Henry, a Saquon Barkley. A Saquon so, actually makes no sense to, for me. I don't know. I don't know, man. But, I don't see us getting them. I'm just saying, like, I, I would like it. But I would. I, I think, would like I think to we need a better running back, Dallas. I can see Saquon end up in Dallas. I wouldn't want Saquon though. Oh, word! He get hurt too much for you too. Yeah, I wouldn't want Saquon. I, 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 we need. Oh, the man missed like guys. three games last year for injury. Like he he played majority of the season last year. Yeah, the year before that. Yeah, how many how many years has he been in the league? Uh, he's been in four. Uh, he had the ACL injury. I think we need somebody fresh. We need somebody fresh, fast and fresh. <laughs> Oh, Josh Jacobs is another one. Speaking of this list, you know, he's another one say. that needs the tag or not. And that's another, that's another, that's another, you know, viable runner back. T. Higgins hey, out there. Hey, Josh Jacobs, he could, I, I could see him even going up. Kansas yeah. City is coming up on a receiver. Really? That's my take. That's that's my overall take. Kansas City Chiefs is going to get. I, I think so, too. I think so. I think so. You know, would, you take, uh, would you take Josh Jacobs? Uh, to Dallas? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? What about Denver? Think, what about why not Josh Jacobs to Denver? Uh, caveat. That would be interesting. Um, I think the Broncos' real concern right now is what the heck are they going to do at quarterback position to bring in somebody else they sound besides like a quarterback? Their, their focus right now is what what is going on. Mm-hmm. N- nobody knows, and I, I I don't even know what. I, I want Baker Mayfield. That's all I know, and I've been saying that. I want Baker Mayfield as a Denver Bronco from the day that he was drafted. That's a that's a hot take. I feel like. Oh my I mean, God, De- 
Baker Mayfield would be the quarterback to play with Sean Payton. I say for Dallas, though, I'm not really concerned about the players. I think our players are semi-solid for the most part. I I, I told y'all early on in the season, early on at the end of the season, too, it's the coaching for me. I don't know what the the play calling and and the decision making is. That's what it is for me. So for them to really stick to everybody they got on the sideline, I don't – that's what that's my that's my whole concern with Dallas. Michael, I feel like we can have any player and, and do good, but mm. or do decent, you know what I'm saying? But it's like with that sideline, we're not gonna get past the fucking first round. That's that's the best take you've had about your team, I think I've ever heard. I'm not gonna <laughs> that's the most honest take I think I've heard, for real. I, mean, I, I told you, I'm real, man. Another, another one though, yeah, speaking yeah. of receivers, like Michael Pittman is another one out there, yo. Yep. yo. I could see him wanting to leave Indiana, bro, probably, uh, or Indianapolis. Well, same shit. Oh, and, you know what I'm saying? Leave the fuck there and, like, you know, go somewhere else for a chat. You think? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in New York, baby. In Tampa? Yeah. Bro, they got – bro, they still – they got a great one and two punch. I don't think they need Michael Pittman. Like, because Michael Pittman need money. Michael Pittman need to get paid. I think I, I think there was conversation of Mike Evans possibly being out, though. Bro, that is their best receiver in their franchise. No, nah, I agree. Yeah, but um, he's old, man. I mean, still, he, and he still gets a thousand yards and ten touchdowns every year. I would take Mike Evans yeah, any he's day. Solid as fuck. And when we do our weather report, what we doing like our our shit? Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, I got yeah. some awards for Mike Evans. Like, I got some awards for Mike Evans. But all right, no, I'm just yeah. might go younger. I feel it. I feel it. Yo, who's who's fucking alarm is going on? That's my fault. What the fuck? All right. So listen, the CF the the uh the college football playoffs has approved to move uh to a five to seven format for a twelve team field starting in the twenty twenty four season. So to explain that, that's not like a lie. It's basically twelve teams, right? Uh, five highest ranked conference champions plus the seven highest ranked teams. Um, just by the determined by the CFP the regular CFP selection. Will be in the playoffs. Uh, so basically, twelve team format. I personally uh, like that. It, it leaves, it, you know. I don't. I think twelve is a little bit too much, maybe. But um, I like that they're expanding it. though. I wonder what you think, though, Kiviot. In terms of uh, this, they're expanding the twelve teams this uh this uh this next season. For, uh, football. Uh, college, for college football. College football. College football. Yeah. You know. It's probably better because uh, the way that they rank the football, it, it gives more people, it gives more teams a chance that are actually good. There, I know that there was some confusion this year in terms of who was out, who was in, um, who got the game, who didn't get the game. What, uh, and um, I think, wasn't it Miami or was it Florida State? Which team was it that uh, didn't it get Florida the State. It was for that didn't get the the game they deserved. Oh and yeah, I think yeah. what this does is that it opens it up more, um, right, for everybody to get a shot, and th- that way, you know, you can't say, oh, my team deserved to get it. We had the better record, but because some um, board decided that this is the team, these are the teams that are going to go, um, you know, it gives yeah. everybody a chance. Did they uh did they intentionally change that rule though based off of last year or this was something that was already uh kind of in place from last year? Does anybody know that? You said what's that? I, I was saying uh is this a rule that they did just based off of how last year went I guess or, no, or no, they already I mean, had this it's implemented? Been to, it was, it's been talks of them expanding for like I think honestly since the start of it to be honest with you you know what I mean I just think this is their their way of just um. Expanding it, I ain't gonna lie. You know, with all these uh, sports, like just leagues, right? You just know that they're trying to just appeal to more people. Like I think all this shit is just at the end of the day, it's just money grab and just ways to get more games on networks. At the end of the day, right? But um, I do I like it because it'll just leave room for like it's again any given Saturday in this case, it just leaves room for error and it's competition and stuff like that. Like teams can win, and then like again like in college football, when you got to compete with March Madness, where it's like a hundred of these teams. And sometimes we have these stories of these underdogs. Like you just want to probably create an atmosphere for or some something like that to happen too. So I think it'll be dope. I think twelve may be too much. I like maybe eight. How many teams was it before? It was four, and then I think four. they made six this year. Or uh, no, nah, I think it. I think it was still. I think so, it was still four. 
Okay, okay, right? okay. It was yeah. tossing also like just going into six, I think, as well. But um, yeah, so like it was just four teams. So the top four teams would just go, you know what I mean? Rank and rank one through four conference. Like I don't know, college football that the math for that shit is weird. It's weird, so whatever. I know yeah, I don't understand it. Yeah, I know on NCAA football the game, I was too lit. Like I had too much publicity as a player for my team to ever be nothing ranked anything less than top five. So you know, I was lit, you know, NCAA Sweet. football. And they bring that game back. I'm about to definitely get it. Absolutely. I think they actually should drop the trailer for that shit too. Ooh. Do you guys do you, what do you guys think about college play, players? I mean uh, they're going to be pretty much uh, paid by the, the schools. Love it. They're, they're opening up more doors for people to come in and pay them money. Yeah. Love I, it. I, I love it. I love it. They they putting their bodies on the line of play. They're getting these schools popular, making people yeah. want to come to the school. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pay me. I'm giving and, you all free publicity. <laughs> what? It. And at the end of the day, it's like, yo, college football – usually is the main money maker at any college or any like major school like that so it's like yo them niggas is making hella bread anyways like come on they, they got to give something back right like they got to absolutely does that it, do you think that takes away from the game then because I, his kids are too young to i mean no i don't think so no. it will no. it will eventually how how so though? Why why do you say that? Like we how see do you... it, we see it now in NBA we're seeing it starting to happen now in the NFL it will eventually. It, it becomes will. less of a team I, sport and more of a me sport. I feel like the NBA shit though is like slightly different. Bro, mm. the NBA is horrible, a horrible product, bro. It's oh, I, I absolutely agree. And and they fucked up with the All Star game because they had a great opportunity to make oh. it ten times better, bro. Uh, and they just made uh, it ten times worse, in my opinion. I had to turn off the All Star game, like yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. Yeah. All right, let's get let's finish off uh sports news real quick. We got uh so Vikings aren't willing to give Kirk Cousins a fully guaranteed contract. Sound like the same issue out here in Washington. Um yeah, I, if he hit free agency, where does Kirk Cousins go? Kirk Cousins is, by the way, bro, is a great fucking quarterback, bro. He I'm like, say Kirk Cousins goes home if, if if he get free agency. If you ask me, I think he come back to I think he come back to the Commodores. I ain't gonna see him. I, I literally I think I said that last week. I was like the Titans, Raiders, the Titans. Titans. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to put him. Oh, I'm trying to put him. You give Kirk Cousins with, Devontae Adams. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to put him in a in a place where they can actually compete at. I like the Raiders, bro. I like Raiders. that Raiders. Denver. Bro. I'll take Denver them. Denver wouldn't be bad like either. Bro, I love Denver. Denver got weapons on weapons. On they weapons. have so, – did, did anybody see what Jerry Judy can do with a football when oh, he yeah. has a fucking – That guy is sick. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Honestly, that Jerry may not Judy, be a bad move If he's for given the opportunity, could be a number one – I like Denver. Top five receiver in the NFL. Yeah, I, I, I offload Russell to, like, maybe the Commodores or something like that. I, I signed Kirk Cousins. I'm rocking. And I'm rocking with a new plan. I like that. I think Russell Wilson should go to Chicago. He's a backup in Chicago, though. I know what he's a starter. What do you mean? Cuz, I mean, think about it. If Chicago does take a quarterback. You think they're not going to? Why would? Bro, Patrick Mahomes said a year, and he's running the league right now. He's been running them up ever since he was announced a starter. And, like, that was how it was back, like, before we was born type shit. That's actually how it was. They would draft yeah. the quarterback and sit him for a while, and then they'll play him. Now they had, the, and, and, you know, obviously not everybody, right? But they, they were great players, right? You know what I'm saying? The ones that I'm, I'm aware of. Aaron Rodgers did that for a minute. Tom Brady did it. Brett Favre, right? Uh, Patrick Mahomes had Alex Smith. Alex Smith. Like, Jordan Love had Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dak Prescott had Tony Romo. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think that's a good ass, good ass idea. Well, that Prescott case was different. Like, I remember that. All like his rookie year, he was running amok in preseason. You know what I'm saying? So he had the he had the hype of like the cowboy shit, but he was also like proving himself. That was just lit. Like the the Prescott story actually is lit. Although uh, Cino thinks I hate this nigga for some reason. No, we, be slight you do. We just you do. Troll. We just love trolling on Dak Prescott, though. It's funny. No, Dak Prescott, honestly, I actually, what, you know, it's funny. As I talk about Kirk Cousins and how lit he is, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, I don't know. What's the difference between him and Dak Prescott, honestly? Dak Prescott better. Than who? Kirk Cousins. Fact. I mean, I don't know. Ability wise, yeah. But mental, nope. 
I'll take Cousins to win a playoff game any day over Dak Prescott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I hate. See, I hate when y'all do that. But what? You can't do that. You don't get past it for real. But we had to play I mean, in the fucking NFC Championship. Tim Tebow won a playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> why are we talk about? Why are we always do this? Where is the quarterback to do X, Y, and Z? It's not the quarterback only. No, see, no, I ain't gonna lie. Patrick Mahomes playoff run kind of proves like everything I said about quarterbacks to be like accurate. No, hey, it bro, doesn't. yes, bro, yes, bro, bro. Patrick Mahomes, bro, Patrick Mahomes had to like do that to win to win a Super Bowl. And to keep them in the playoffs, and to keep them in a season, like this whole time, it was Patrick Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes. What he was saying, like all cam, all field, like it's not even my receivers' fault. What do you think that does to his receivers? You know what I'm saying? As far as they mental, because they stepped up in the playoffs. So hey, I'm saying, like, that's not what Dak Prescott do. That's probably why his ass always go home first round. Tom Brady will talk to everybody. What the fuck do Dak Prescott do? I seen y'all. I seen y'all star cornerback call him a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I seen the clip. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look. That, that got that count for something. It? Although Peyton I look, Manning, I look at it like this. Peyton Manning would would point if a if a receiver fucked up, Peyton Manning would point, get off the field. He would like get off. Like Peyton Manning would kick you out that of the field. That's because he's Peyton Manning. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He would straight up kick people out of the game they screwed up. It was hysterical. But my thing is, oh, a lot of these games this year, I mean, I, okay, I guess if you want to give Patrick Mahomes his – again, a lot of the games this year, Patrick Mahomes wasn't looking real Patrick Mahomesy. You know what I'm saying? And cool. I and when I said that, yeah, oh, it's just a regular season. Uh, all right, cool. But it, it wasn't him winning the games. It was really a team thing, of course, obviously, right. but – so so to bring that back to Dallas, like I, I like to do, is most of the time it don't be that fault that we lose. Most of the time. Sometimes I get – and I'm going to say most of the time because I'm going to say this. It be the decision-making. Like, what are you doing? Why are we throwing on this play? Why, on this. Sometimes it do be that fault, though. Like, why are you holding the ball and just standing there looking goofy in the face? Let that thing go, but but a lot of the times it be the decision making. A lot of the times it be the decision making, and then uh, throughout this season, most of them game games game. what came down to the defense. Most like, of them games this season came down to the defense, not the quarterback. But I'm saying like, so even like with the Kirk shit, I seen him like have like even when they put themselves in the hole, like Kirk Cousins like like dug themselves, like Kirk Cousins did that shit. Some of those comebacks that you like that game, Kirk Cousins did that shit. That but, shit against the Colts on Thanksgiving. But what? But I, I hear you. I hear you. Let's talk about it though. Would Kirk Cousins have been able to come back without the defense? Because if the defense wouldn't have been doing their part, would he be no down that back. hole that they had one in the first place? It ain't no coming back if your defense ain't playing right. Ain't no such thing as coming back. Bro, if you down in the hole and your defense don't do the job, like it's that. no coming back. Bro, he came down you know like what? I mean, the Kansas City like Chiefs. Like Ten points or some shit. Like they was down. Kansas City like Chiefs defense. Played like so. great. Chiefs defense played crazy, yo. Great. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's no such thing I mean, as coming I, I back and the what, defense going to do I, their I, job. You know, I get but that. those I last get two drives, who did it? it Chiefs defense played – both defenses played well, right? Right. So what was the factor that both defenses played well? What was the factor between Brock – Of course, it's Patrick Mahomes. And get Brock Purdy had every – he had Hall of fucking Famers to, to pick from. What the fuck Patrick Mahomes got outside of Travis Kelsey? Patrick Mahomes is but the Jack best Obama quarterback. Like crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, two times. Two can times. you tell me that? Tell me that Patrick Mahomes is not a combination of either Joe Montana and John Elway or Tom Brady and John Elway because he is. So if yeah. anybody can prove that, to me wrong, shit. got this shit. He's got this shit. I like I mean, Patrick Mahomes. Like, I don't like him that much. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Well, we can move on because that wasn't even a, that wasn't even a that was a deep, deep ass dive about Kirk Cousins. But, anyways, Caleb Williams set to enter the NFL draft without an agent. I mean, congratulations, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Caleb Williams to me, bro, got bust in it. Like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You was yeah. about to get God, boy. You was about to get God. That was boy. crazy. I think he's about to be a bust of a pick. For real. Think so? Think. You think? Well, you think it's so overhyped? I don't. I Caleb, think I've never seen an overhyped player come out like successful like this. Caleb Williams, you talking about? Yeah, Caleb. Yeah, yeah no way. Uh, uh-uh. uh. You think he lit like know. that? No, he's got nothing going on between his eyes. 
So you yeah. think you think it's more mental than oh, yeah, actual yeah. ability? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kez got the guy's got everything, all the tools that you can want, but he's got he's got the mental capability of a five year old girl. Damn, <laughs> a five year old girl, not even a five year old boy. That's crazy. No, not even a five year old boy. This shit like Matt Liner and all over again to me. I ain't gonna lie. You know he he's very confident though, uh, going into the draft without an agent. I mean, Lamar did the same thing too. And Lamar, yeah, Lamar Jackson has got his, his stand up guy. Yeah, he's bro. Well, nobody, nobody, his mom's shoulder during the middle of a game. Yeah, but I don't think Lamar. anybody, any nobody knew Lamar was going to be Lamar when he came into the league. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's I, like, don't you, you gotta, one, I don't know about that one, Tevin. He might want to run, run that one back. I look, think I think we had a feeling. I think people had a feeling. Everybody knew Lamar was a stand up dude. But look, that's all it is, right? You like, know, when you know what college football, though? That's that's the thing. Like, bro, Lamar no. was crazy at Louisville. He was at Louisville doing that to people, bro. I know. I know he was going crazy at Louisville. But my point is, though, coming into the NFL, hey, right? It's, high school. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. We went to the same high school. But uh, now, nah, like, the, N- the NFL is different from college football, bro. So, therefore, you don't really know what know it's going to look like when you get there until you get there and do your thing, bro. That, that's That's all I'm saying. I feel it. I feel it. Well, well, well okay. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. I got you. Um, so what we got next? I know we was going a little bit out of order. Well, okay. I guess we was wrapping up the Delray Open. Uh, let's get some applause ready. Um, Taylor Fritz, he wins the Delray Open over Tommy Paul. That was my pick to win the Delray Open. So, uh, that man was there to witness some of the stuff. So, you know. How you feel? How you feel about um, How you feel about it? Uh, shout out to Taylor Fritz. I think that's his second time uh, winning it in a row, to be honest. I think he won last year, too. But um, I thought Tommy Paul was going to actually have a shot, man. Like, he looked good. And uh, Taylor Fritz just he destroyed him, bro. I think I think Tommy only won, like, two games each set, bro. So. Yeah, shout out to, uh, t- shout out to uh, Taylor Fritz. We was talking about it last episode. Uh, Tevin actually went to the, like, conference matchups and stuff like that. Yeah, that's experience. He also confirmed that it was no bitches there. No bitches. <laughs> it was so, just old hoes, man. We like old hoes, though. We don't. We don't care. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, don't, no, we don't discriminate. We don't discriminate. Yeah. <laughs> we de- and we are and shots and tapes. We'll be going to city open here in DC. It's gonna be hot as fuck, but we we want to see some lit ass competition and stuff like that. I might I might have to make a trip for that one, bro. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan was fighting with me to get my goddamn phone. All right. So I'm about to go ahead and get into some rapid fire. Well, we got we got a lot of content. Okay, so we know what it is. I guess whoever is the minority, I have to drink with and that shit. Yeah. Yep. Unless all y'all, unless all y'all agree, I got to drink or whatever. Hey, what y'all drinking? Beer, tequila. Beer, tequila. Okay. Well, What's up, bro? Get the get the Taylor port, bro. <laughs> Last time I would tell y'all was drinking drinking water, so I ain't know what type of time y'all was on. He'd be disrespecting your wine choice. Yo, see the be disrespecting your hey. wine. If I want to go get a different type of wine, I will. But I wanted to choose this one. You be drinking Taylor Port, bro. So you shouldn't crazy. say to me about crazy. it, right? It's crazy. There's nothing crazy about that. Y'all just be tripping, <laughs> bro. That's absolutely wild. Well. But right. check this nigga Barnes cup, cause remember last week? Oh yeah, nah, he's he over here a, playing. Like, all right. Let me actually get mine ready. Love, get yours ready too. See, you no. Know, all right, bet. All right, bet. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a Simply Seltzer? No, it's Dude. Spike Lemonade. I'm saying. Nigga. That's fire, bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah. A Simply Spike Lemonade? That's bad. <laughs> Damn. Leave my dog alone, bro. That's a rapid fire question. That Leave the, my dog that alone, drink? bro. That's a Kenny <laughs> Williams drink, right? Uh, that's a rapid fire question. Yes. I, I already... <laughs> That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's the drink of Caleb Williams, right? Hey, but these joints taste good, bro. Oh, good. That shit tastes good. I bet that shit tastes good on the beach too, whole time. Bro, those oh, are, yo, those drinks, those drinks do be tasting good though. Nah, they do. They be in. These joints hit. But I don't think you can talk about nobody's wide choice drinking that though. I don't. <laughs> bro, I be I, I be drinking some good wine. The Taylor Port just do what it's supposed to do, man. Let's let's move on. That boy, that boy got a hangover every time. That's my point. That's my point. <laughs> be turned up. What, what we drinking for? We ain't gonna be turned up. I'm right, stepping down the yard level on the on the light shit. 
That's for. Oh, I respect that. All right, let's get it. The honor of um our slots, right? Slot lane and good food or strip club section full of strippers and hot nasty sex after. Wait, second. say that again. What's the first one? Slot win and good food. So you win on the slots, go home, get some good food. Or strip club, section full of strippers and hot nasty sex after. I take the second one, even though I don't like strippers. First, first one. one. I'm going first one. You, I feel like you have no choice but to say that. You're right. right? You're yeah. damn right. I can only go first. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. That's fucking loyalty right there. What the fuck happened? Oh, all right. Well, whatever. All right. Well, who got a drink on that one, though? Uh, you. I might say it was two and two. Yeah. So that means you got a drink. Oh, okay. That's crazy. All right. Fine. <laughs> Y'all still see us fine? Because our camera's bugging over here. Y'all see us fine? Yeah, we see you good. I, I can see. Yeah, Ready? Who wins the race? Tyreek Hill or Prime Lamar Jackson? Tyreek Hill. Hill. Fuck y'all. We ain't drinking today, bro. I hope you got a full cup over there, my boy. All right, I'm trying to go back for blood to the MGM, so I can't. I got to be on my, my P's and Q's. All right. Y'all ready for this? Let's go. Bet it up or lit. Which one is more intro for T. Evans? Lit. Lit. Bet it up. I knew you guys were going to say that, too. That's funny. I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn a little bit. I like. I know it took me a second. I had to think about it, but <laughs> I had to think about it. See, tell him like lit. You said what? You said lit, right? Yeah, lit. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I don't know. It's okay. Yeah. I guess because you can't. We can't really lose there. I guess though. You know, you know, I feel like why I pick lit though is because like the music video, bro. The video is so damn hard, bro, and the effects and the visual effects, and I'm just like, well, yeah. then like what that shit do? I think I seen that. Sh- I think you saw that live when I was there. You said what? What that shit do like to the crowd? Uh, I mean, it's it's a crowd mover, bro. I mean, the beat is crazy. You know what I mean? So I just said, nigga. I just said, I just saw what that shit did at a crowd. Bro, <laughs> I just I said the same thing. All right, what's the next one? What we got next? All right. After his Del Rey open match, is Taylor Fritz prepared to win a major this year? No. I don't even know what y'all talking about. So I'll drink. All right, well, you got a drink then, Sino. And you, and everybody except for, uh, for yes. Kibiot. And me, I said no. Hey, yes. He said yes. That's wild. I got to pick an answer. That's you wild. think he's going to? I still got a drink, even though yeah, my answer is yeah. crazy. Bless you. You got a drink, because that's a hot take. Ooh. Yeah, hey, what, what sport is that that y'all talking about? Tennis. Tennis. Oh, yeah, I don't watch. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Tennis. I mean, tennis. So, you know, you will fuck with tennis. I, I feel like you would too, bro. You know, you will fuck with tennis, bro. I promise you, bro. I, I believe it. I believe it. All right. I don't well, even know what time it come on or what day. So. <laughs> wait till a tennis. Wait. Tennis time is different, bro. Wait till the Wimbledon. Wait till the Wimbledon. So just wait. Wait later this year, bro. Wait yeah. Till why wait till? Just wait till the French Open. Yeah. French Open is on clay though. So like. All See right, that fine. that's fire. I actually want to watch it because I never seen a, a clay all you need to do is watch one movie. good point in that shit in your hook. Yeah, I got seen oh yeah, just watch the French open because regardless, it's good, but I do gotta give them a little asterisk just because it's, it's clay, you know what I'm saying? But it, it is what it is. If you got it, you got it at the end of the day. So whatever. I'm a, shit. Just just let me know. Just send me the, the, the May link. Is is to watch. May twentieth is Wimbledon. May twentieth. I mean May twentieth is the French Open, sorry. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. French open. Damn, French okay. open's not till May. Oh, that's May bad. 20th. Right after the yeah. May 20th. So what's the next major? That's the next major? Yeah. For real? Right now it's just like little shit. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it sucks. When would in the US Open doesn't have that much time in between, but whatever. Um, same city, same night. Tua against Buffalo or Burrow against Lamar. Now I'm asking if you wanted to attend the game. Same city, same night. Burrow against Lamar. Easy. Dude. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm agreeing with Chadwick. I go two against Buffalo. But you might have already seen that. Set, so. I think y'all got a drink for that. Right, yeah, that's, split. That's, that's, that's either or. That's a good one. Burrow and Lamar. Yeah, I think that'd be far. That's, that's a good one too. I watch. I'm not gonna lie. That would be hard. I ain't gonna lie. That was a that was a better one than I thought the whole time. Two against Buffalo though. That's that's it. Oh, I don't but know. Like, I only, say, like if y'all said, we seen that though. 
Yeah, yeah we have. Oh, we see, we gonna see Burrow and Lamar twice a year if he's healthy. You know what I mean? Look, I think Burrow is the only person in the AFC that may be able to beat Patrick Mahomes, bro, because he's already well, done he it. He did it. He the only one to do it yeah. outside of Tom Brady. Facts. So. I don't really hate hearing that as a Bronco fan, but you're right. <laughs> hey, get a better quarterback. I mean, I'll take the same advice. But what is rough out there as an AFC fan? It got to be rough after Tom Brady retired, who got like, he went to 10 Super Bowls. You got <laughs> That has to suck, bro. Listen, dude, I'm not complaining, man. I had John Elway and Peyton Manning. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Well, that's that's lit. I ain't gonna that's, lie. That's, that's lit. Right. That's lit. That's lit. You had two lit quarterbacks. We have it. I don't. I, 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 you know my stance on McNabb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we have it. What's your stance on McNabb? Hold up. I don't know it. Oh man, bro. Oh, don't hate on McNabb. McNabb had Andy Reid. Not the other way around. That's my stance. Okay. McNabb can throw a football, man. That guy is freaking. McNabb could lose a big one. Dude, that guy. <laughs> cool. I walk in the gym. Oh, that guy. Cool, be... yo. Whoa. That was he wild. strong as shit. All right. Um, where am I? Okay, so back. Oh, shit. This is crazy. I wonder what I wrote this. Yo, love. Well, that nigga <laughs> was definitely <laughs> drunk whenever he wrote that question. For sure. I think it was after her, after, uh, her, her, DJ, her DJ event. Who could yeah. who could pull who could pull two girlfriends better, Barnes or Tevin? <laughs> who could pull oh, two shit. girlfriends better? Tevin. No offense, Barnes. Oh, oh! He's a racist. See that? What hey. you? I'm, I'm gonna go with my man, uh, my man Barnes, because you know he, he from around yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta run with Barnes. I gotta run with Barnes. I gotta. You know I, just, I can just picture Tevin yeah, rocking too at the same time. No problem. No sweat. No sweat. Y'all, y'all should have yeah. seen me. Y'all should have seen me at the strip club last night. I was wilding out. There's no sweat. Like don't bother, don't bother him. He could have five girlfriends and you fine. Absolutely. Like, whatever they all know, and they all know about each other. Yeah, and they all know, and they all know about each other. Hundred percent. You said one hundred percent. You can't manage no girlfriend. Say that again. You can't manage no girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, you know. No, we don't, bro. Bro. we don't know. We don't know. Wait, man. Barnes, Barnes, can you? Can? Okay, okay, I can see Barnes doing it though, but I just know because I've seen Tevin. Yeah, I can't do it. But more, who would more? Hey, man, I'm not a brag. I'm not a braggadocious type person. You know what I mean? So I'll give it to Barnes. And they all, and they all, they all know about it too. Each one of them girls, they all know about Tevin, but they don't care. What Kivy I said. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Let's yeah. go. Molly in Orlando or ecstasy in Orlando? Molly in Orlando. Molly. <laughs> yeah, Molly. I'm a drink, man. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. Hey, which one is better, though? Because you oh, live in Orlando for a little bit, right? I don't do so any of those one? types of drugs. Sometimes. I didn't care for neither of them. Neither of them was my shit. That's because you didn't get the good good. <laughs> <laughs> Might be right. Might be right. Dude. I got a crazy Dude, story. I got I do have a crazy story. Well good Molly. What? You see those. That shit was hilarious. The our friend that do it. I was the only one in the car on it. Well our dumb ass, we went to uh you remember uh, the, the tiger person? The Tiger King nigga? Tiger King, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. it was like during COVID. You Wait, you guys his... went there? You guys no, went there? Op, like where his op was? Oh we yeah, um uh, we did the all lady. that same work they was talking about in the documentary, so we get to see the animals for free and shit. But I was I was rolling, so I ain't even. I <laughs> said I was rolling. This <laughs> shit was like the petting the tiger, like going up to the tiger, like I love you, tiger. <laughs> and That's bro, hilarious. those little tigers look like they did look. They look. They look like that, bro. Like starved and. Not Tiger King. His place looked lit. I'm talking about Carol. The other chick, yeah, Carol. That's yeah. what. That's what her name was. Yeah. We went to Carol shit. Yeah. Yo, uh, did you She's guys know each other killer, before dude. you guys? Cause you guys went to both of you guys went to um school out in Orlando, right? Music school. To my uh, man Jazz. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, we met, bro. We met out there and shit. But I think the thing is, like, Sino you know, probably went to school with people like my cousins and shit like that, though. Like my cousins went to the same school. So you guys never knew each other before you guys actually met at school. Nah, I'm that's, pretty. That's crazy. Honestly, hearing about Sino's high school stories, I'm almost certain my cousins got a wild ass story about these niggas, bro. I'm almost certain about this. Shit. You want the <laughs> What'd you say? You want the flowers? Yeah, yeah. I know a couple of people don't want Yeah, we was we was we turned flowers up, man. It's about two lives and flowers, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga came, bro. What time we see those in town? 
She was that shit sounded like war stories and shit. Like <laughs> yeah, oh, say, war stories. We survived this. We, survived. <laughs> we did that shit too. Surviving PG County should really be a show. All right, hey, we used to get it in, man. <laughs> All right, uh, so boom. This is a question that I think I like. This question for everybody here. All right, Kyrie, Kyrie's eight oh eight or Big Puff Puff's eight oh eight. Big Puff Puff. Wait, wait, what? Oh, what? Damn. Sorry, sorry, fam, but Puff, yo, Puff, Puff is different, bro. Kyrie, Kyrie, I, I'm giving it to. Him. I know he's my cousin, but I'm giving it. I think I'm giving it to Kyrie, bro. Just, I think I like his drum patterns. I, like I think I'm about to say. I think I got to give it to Kyrie, just, but yeah. not by a lot. Not, they, not, they by a lot. not at all. Not, not by a lot. lot. Not at all. Not 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 but, but, but if we are going like straight up drum patterns versus, I think 808 wise, Puff has a better 808s. A little bit. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah, I, I, I think it's close. I think it's a tie. I wouldn't even get like I'm only giving Kyrie the edge simply because the mix. So, I guess the thing would be like so room full of junkies wise, right? That would be like seven rings, maybe versus uh if you know you uh what's the one? If you know if you know you know, yeah, yeah. If you know you know, yeah. But that's not a fair, I like both of them. fair fight. I ain't gonna hold you. that's not even a fair fight, I think. I don't think so either. Seven rings, yeah, seven rings, I think that should Because I can talk about uh the rage joint that I did off of Kyrie B. Mm. That made always go crazy in that oh. joint. Yo, US 50. Shit, US 50. Yep. By the way, US 50 was Sino coming out too, by the way. Sino definitely <laughs> got verse of the year. We're going to do more uh, more you promotion this shit. Sino definitely got the verse of the, the best you verse on the crazy. album and shit. I'm glad it's out now. Um, We're going to do something lit like yeah. that. Actually, actually, Sino, I might need some photos from you and shit because um, I want to do like a montage. I want to like do some shit for that shit though. But uh, I'll let you know whenever I get there. But that, but that. But uh, all right, let's, let's continue rapid fire. Uh, Where am I? All right, back. Janae Aiko and Shrooms or Scissor and Gas? Mm, Janae. That's a hard one. Janae. Yeah, I'm going Janae too. Oh, that's my bad. I don't care what we on. Janae. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Janae and Shrooms because off of Shrooms, like my, my, well, actually, my first like, acid trip, she sounded like Mother Earth, bro. It was, she was. Mother Yo, Kibi out is so lost. I love this. <laughs> I'm saying, it's all Shrooms. Oh, I've never, even, <laughs> I'm never <laughs> even done shrooms. I agree you with you. Shrooms? That's all you need to know. Never. Me and Cino agree with you. Bro. I've Listen. never even done shrooms, but the first time I heard Janae, I, I go, oh. bro. It's Imagine different. Imagine the first time on shrooms doing some shit. Doing that with yeah, yeah, boy, got a shroom I out, was bro. so I'm believing in Janae, I go. Cino. 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 Oh yeah, I did that before, well, bro. I saw, I saw too much. I saw too much of the. I saw too many dimensions. Bro. It was. Too, it was literally not literally. Wait, too was much. that was, was that the same night with the birds and the pizza and the chicks on the bench? Nah, and, nah that was, was a different bro, night. It was. It was a uh, me and Ryan. Night. This was. This was a crazy night, yo. This was a crazy. Was that the night. same night you thought you were gonna die? Nope. Not even that night. Bro. So you guys, man, you guys <laughs> a lot of, you got a lot, you got a lot of crazy ass shroom trips, bro. Yeah, I, mean, look, I be hearing the Yo. stories. I be hearing the stories, but I, bro, I'm gonna tell y'all this real quick, real quick. All of the shroom thing, my man and his wife sat in my basement for almost two hours, Insane. talking about shrooms, trying to convince me. I don't want to say they was trying to convince me, but. Once I told him I never did shrooms, it was a two-hour conversation about how I should do shrooms. <laughs> and I was just in that I would never, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I ain't gonna lie. I would just say, I would just, I would just say it off, of, and I would be like, yo, because I, I would honestly just hope that that it just resonate with you, and maybe one day we get to it. That's it. That's it. I just they, they wasn't really trying to convince me, but they just went into story after story after yeah, story. Yeah, that's how I did. <laughs> and I just yeah. was like, mm, nah, see, no, honestly, bro, that shit. That shit, you will you will rock with it, bro. Especially if you was like, if you let's like, say like you working on an album or something like that, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. You will really, you will really love that shit, bro. Or on vacation, you know what I'm saying? Just like you know, maybe like a separate vacation, obviously, or we don't have responsibilities or whatever. We just got yeah. yeah. Relax. You can just give yourself a day. Go eat an ace. Go, go like yeah. Go eat like some really nice. Why so much caps. though? Why why so much? Is that that's not a lot? An ape is not a lot. 
No, because no, that eighth way is a lot, bro. So no, and eighth is a lot, bro. Don't believe this nigga. Eighth is a lot, bro. No, listen, you oh, are damn. Hey, Alcino, I'll go to Atlanta right now. We can uh, we go to Atlanta right now. <laughs> listen, all I'm saying is you see the eighth streams and you just kind of fall back in your chair, and then everything happens around you. And it's hey, you know what's crazy though, right? Like. The shrooms back in the day for Kiviat were probably way different than the shrooms we take now, mm, right? Better. Like, probably better. No, dude. that boy, that boy had a whole different era of shrooms, bro. They're, they were incredible. Like, yo, uh, they probably were better. I think they were better. They were probably. I mean, they're all. I, listen, man, I, I, I tried them once and I did it for a month straight. That's how good they were. Wait, you did them for a month straight, bro? Yeah. So I, I how? switched between. Listen. And I, as soon as I found out about this in high school, I switched oh, between that and acid for a month straight. And it was just, every time I see a bird fly by now, I see a trail. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie to you, know, I encourage, I encourage you to find the time to do that shit. If not this year, sometime soon. Just sometime. At least once. Honestly, like, you, the chocolate bars, I feel like are a little bit... <laughs> How is it nowadays? Uh, so they like me personally. Anytime I take shrooms, I get the chocolate bars, and that shit is it's a gram pretty lame. much a row. Man, Tevin do it the lane way. I eat them raw, and that shit is a blast. That shit is a blast. We go, we went me and my girl for Valentine's Day. We did that shit and went to some art museum. It was yeah. incredible, bro. It was incredible. How hard did you laugh? A lot. We laughed a lot. We yeah. laughed a lot. Honestly, like I feel like doing it's doing shrooms is like being stoned, bro. Right? Is no, it? no. Being when you super stone, when you do them for real, when I eat fucking uh, chocolate, no, yeah. nigga, it's like you super saying. Yeah, dude, it's you feel way. like you are a part of wherever you're walking. You're just to like, just kind of just do it because you can know you can go super saying, like. Yeah, I, I I thought it was a pirate. I thought it was like a pirate captain of a ship, and I was oh shit. Yo, I had a similar trip to that on the Fourth of July. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. I thought I was legit a pirate captain, and nothing around me was what it actually you know, is. I really I was, felt like I was captain of a pirate ship, Kiviat, and then, and then like uh, my homies, AJ. If you still in here, that's crazy. My homies came from Virginia Beach, and so they was in like some festive shirts and shit like that. Oh fuck so I feel yeah. like I was on vacation too, and then Ryan was making drinks. This is before. Like, yo, that, that shit was a vibe. I was like, captain on the ship, yo, from the balcony. I was even getting water. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga was a black Jack Sparrow, bro. For real. Oh. For real. Like, but like, oh, Prince, more oh. Prince energy though than Jack Sparrow. Because they remind me of each other a little bit in a great way. Awesome. You see how how this whole conversation yeah. just went about <laughs> off of me not taking you know, rooms? Exactly. That's exactly. exactly. <laughs> Should have yeah. took rooms, damn it. Seen yo actually when I when we when I record when I went down there to record for Room for the Junkies, I actually remember you know I had some a little bit, you know. Yeah, you, you it, was, it, was all right. it was just a nice little upper, you know. But all right, let's finish rapid right fire. I did it, I killed rapid fire this week. All right, but I'm gonna kill it more. Same city, same night. T Evans doing a black hippie show, or T Evans doing a more things coming show. Uh black hippie. Black, black, black alien hippie show for sure. Black, black hippie. hippie. Yep. Damn! Fuck like, y'all! Yeah. Drink up, my boy. He thought he was. That was that was like the that was like the first that was the first project, bro. That was a classic. You know what I mean? Uh, I think more things coming is better because I'm on it. I produce majority of the beats on uh on Black Island Hippie. That's why I like Black Island Hippie more. You have I gotta get production. More things coming. I think that's why I like more. <laughs> Crazy, right? We made whole two albums out of that shit. Three, actually. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Shout out to me. Shout out to me for being the curator. Shout out to G, first of all. <laughs> Shout out to G. Hey, yo, by the way, um, so everybody, our IG Live is about to end soon. So definitely, you know, saying after you from here, click the link in our bio from the Shots and Takes page. Come over to YouTube, subscribe, and watch it. Watch the shit. Actually, we got some YouTube comments and shit, too. Oh, oh no. Nah. Somebody already on it. That's perfect. Right, so let's see. What football team? Okay, so this is kind of for, like, uh, Aaron and Ryan, y'all. My bad, y'all. What football team do you think our creative director Aaron will root for? Isn't he like a Colts fan, bro? Isn't it like super random? Uh, uh that's that's, that's my man's man. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Aaron's right. Team watch too. To be honest with you, then I feel like he don't watch football. He don't, he don't watch football. He, he was the we were, he was the one that was in our fantasy football league kicking our ass and never watching football. 
Bro, that's insane. I totally forgot about that shit. Right. Hey, Kivya, you definitely got to get in our uh, fantasy league next year, though. (laughs) This is exactly how all this football shit (laughs) fades. All right. Raising Canes or Zaxby's? Zaxby's. I haven't had Raising Canes yet. Zaxby's. All right. I never had both of them. Yeah, Wait, they don't got a raisins canes up there? We got um, Wait, in Georgia they do, but it's it's not close to my house. It's, it's, gotcha. it's a little distant. Yeah, no, they, 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 I, I got a Zaxby's right up the street, and that shit hit. Now in Maryland, I ain't gonna you like Zaxby's? I, I love Zaxby's. I like That's I, I really like their fries with the uh with the with they little seasoning. But I'm a fry guy. Zaxby's, yeah, when we were staying in Florida, that's I, I, I oh yo, Zaxby's in Zaxby's over raisin canes. I Damn, that's crazy. Oh, I gotta say, Wait, what? So that was Wait. split. Was that split? Hey, tell me what you say. That was split. I said uh, raisin canes. Yeah, I got a drink. I got a drink. I'll still drink though with y'all. Wait, I so know. honestly, is that... bro, I never liked Zaxby's until that one time our last vacation out there, uh, tell me. Because I, I can't was... believe you guys actually went to Zaxby's. Huh? When the I forgot fuck about you guys the prize. To... You know, brings up a good point. That's right by our hotel. We went there like damn near every day. Bro, Zaxby's got like the top like, fries with that. Bro, I think, yeah. Yeah. Their fries are delicious. That's what, good. What, what, where was the hotel that you got set at? You got set in Boynton or you got set down in Wellington? Remember, uh, Tevin, you dropped me off that one night. It was like right by the crib, right? It was close to it. was close to uh, it was close. Yeah, it's close to it. So I don't know. We don't got a Zaxby's. The closest Zaxby's I think is like Wellington, right? It was a Zaxby's right by our whole goddamn hotel. That's all. Um, I, that's all. Zaxby's in Wellington. But that's what I'm saying. That's the closest one. There's not one in Boynton though. And I, I would have had, I would have had Raisin Canes when I was in uh, Tennessee, but they recommended me not to go there. They was like, Nah, no, nah, don't go there. All right. Well, I when you're when you're in Tennessee though, and you got the you got the hot chicken, bro, you got to get the hot chicken. You can't go to fucking Raisin Cane's out there. It's All called. Right, so what, that's what it's called, hot chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's called in Nashville, hot chicken. Okay, okay. All right. We'll try All right so the maybe. next two, I didn't actually write. That's actually the last two I forgot to write. But we're gonna oh. do Mary Kill. It's gonna be off the top. Let's go. Freestyle version. Freestyle fucking version. Goddamn, I hate this. I hate this. Uh, let's do let's do women in hip hop. How about that? Women in hip hop. Are we are we stirring beefs in right? Lotto. I'm let's hitting. Go. Lotto and <laughs> Ice Spice. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, all right, boom. So boom. Definitely Lotto. Let, let's hold up. So fuck Mary Kill, right? Lotto. Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Ruby Rose. Ooh. Ooh. No. Ice Spice. That was so good. Oh, 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 fucking Ruby, baby. Stop Damn. playing. Man, yeah. Uh, Ruby, baby. I, I'm with Tev uh, and I'm, Ice Spice got to go. Well. Ice, Ice Spice, Spice definitely got to go. go. I'm marrying Lotto. I'm marrying Lotto. I think I'm marrying Lotto. Yeah. 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 Marrying Lotto. I think we, we all on the same page with that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. That was easy. Once right. you threw Ruby Rose in it, you know what I'm saying? That, that was, that was yeah. 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 I just, I just. I don't need those problems long term. I'll just take the problem short term. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we all thought that. That's crazy. All right, cool. Start cut bench off the top. Start cut bench. Uh, we gonna do this. We gonna do this runner back room edition. Okay. Um, we got Josh Jacobs. We got Saquon Barkley. We got Derrick Henry. Mm. Wait, Saquon Barkley, who was the last one? Uh, Saquon, Josh Jacobs, and Derrick Henry. I'm starting Derrick Henry. What's up? He's wilding. He's cutting Saquon. He's wilding. Well, he's wilding for even starting Derrick Henry. I think I'm so. not. I'm not 100 percent mad at it, but I'd probably oh, start. 80% mad at it. Yeah, probably like 75. percent You know, but I probably I probably start Josh Jacobs. Ah, oh, fuck, damn. I'd start, start Saquon. Right. I'd start Saquon. Saquon easily. Uh, Derrick Henry get benched, and, and I'll get rid of Josh Saquon. Yeah, me and Sino got the same one. Definitely starting Saquon. The short bench and Derrick Henry. And yeah, Josh Saquon, you can definitely slide. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, you can go. All right, bet. So that was that. You could have picked some better yeah, running backs. We 
prepared a, a surprise for T. Evans, a nice little surprise interview. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think Tevin knows about this shit. We, you know what I'm saying? I definitely didn't Bounce. have to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? T. Evans. We turned 29 like this Thursday. Happy yeah. birthday, old man. Your last year in your, in your 20s. The last year in your 20s. Different. I want to I wanna ask you first, right? To get off, I guess. Um, well, it won't probably hit you till like you about to turn 30 for real, bro. But I just want to get insight, right? Like all that you like was able to kind of like establish for yourself. And your your career in music, right? Or in all your endeavors, really, all honestly, all your endeavors. Like, how do you feel about this? The work that you was able to kind of just get accomplish for yourself. Uh, I definitely don't give myself enough credit. First of all, you know what I mean. I think sometimes I get caught up in the fact that like I'm not doing enough, or I want to do more, or I want to be in a different place than where I'm now. But um, I think looking back, I got to give myself a lot of credit, bro. I dropped what five, six albums bro you know what i mean so I, th- I think that's the main thing just give myself more credit bro okay. well, so i got a question for you what was your uh your biggest personal accomplishment this year outside of shots and takes your biggest personal accomplishment? sheesh my biggest personal accomplishment fuck sheesh honestly bro i think it I, I mean, I am going to say shots and takes, right? Because I never thought that I'd be in this position to like have a podcast, be on a podcast, be a host of a podcast. So it's like, this is a different avenue for me. I'm not really like a public speaker, right? So when it comes to like, you know, like, oh shit, watching the podcast back and like, you know, it's like, it's different, right? But I would say that being here and being on this show, bro, 100%, bro. Okay. All right. Um. I got, okay. I got another one. Uh, biggest takeaway and lessons from twenty eight. Uh, trusting myself more. You know. Uh, just trusting my ideas, trusting my thoughts, trusting who I am as a person. You know. Um. Sometimes. So I'll be honest. Sometimes you know I doubt myself a lot. You know. I think we all have that self-doubt to a certain degree but um yeah just just trust myself bro because i know what i'm doing i'm a smart human and we got it you know okay um yeah yeah i got i got something i want to i want to say i guess um just moving forward because you old as fuck now you about to start seeing grades and shit hey i don't got no grades yet bro all right yeah Yeah, give it like two months yeah two like two three months you know what i'm saying uh I guess, like, what is the outlook, right, for the new decade, the new, like, literally the new, like, it's really, like, a whole new decade that you're about to, like, set out to, like, just do, live. Um, what's just some of the aspirations that you just have, and um, what do you want to just see some of your businesses grow? Uh, my main one is just, like, self self accomplishments, I guess, like, just growing as a person, you know, um, and really just, like, expanding what it is that we're doing now right like we got the podcast we got the music shit like i'm tired of working a nine to five i'm sure we all are who working nine to five you know and uh i really got faith and belief in what it is that we're doing here what we're doing musically and uh yeah man just just gotta head to the metal bro that's it word okay um See what other question? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here, I'm, we'll meet up. Yeah. Oh, we got a question from the DJ. Yes. Is it how many? How many singles am I gonna mix for you this year? That's what um, the question is. I already know it's gonna be like a hundred. What? No, no. The first question is. <clears throat> I have my phone. How has like your practice changed over time? So. Basically, like the things that you would do um, in your music life, how has that changed the process of you doing music and producing it, mixing it? Like, what is the difference? I think it's just like, I think it's just like having fun, 
you know, uh, mm -hmm. in the past, sometimes like you kind of like we're all artists. So, right. Like sometimes you put too much thought into what it is that you're trying to do. You try and, you know, you're trying to chase something that's like, and it's just like, have fun and just like, let it be free flowing. Cause I feel like those are some of the best records that I, that I produce that I make. It's just like free flowing, having fun. So yeah, I think that's the main thing. Yes. A period. And okay. That's my other question I have for you. Hold on, I gotta go back on my thing. I gotta go back on my thing. Okay, because I like, I just like to know. Um, how did, because I'm learning how to just get over, I guess, my stage fright and to get more comfortable within my artistry. So, do you have any advice and tips for people that are just new into this stuff? No, what could we do? What could we add to right. our artists' adventures? Believe in what you're doing. I'll say that straight up, right? Because I think at first, right, like you have a lot of doubt. You know, my voice doesn't sound cool. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe I'm not. Maybe I don't have the right, uh, like, substance in my records and shit like that. But just like believe in what it is you're talking about and what you're spinning. Because like, ain't nobody gonna do it for you, right? So live your truth, right? Mm -hmm. So definitely. Okay, that was all the questions that I had. Thank you for that. I love it. I enjoyed that. Bye. Oh, yeah, you're unmuted. You good? Yo, yo, yo. You hear us? Yep. Yep. Where's? Oh. Yep. Yep. All right, bye, 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 bye. I got one more question. What was your uh favorite memory of last year? Favorite memory of last year? Fuck, I was drunk a lot last year, so I don't remember a lot of shit. Um, nah, honestly, bro, I think it was uh making making the project with Bam, bro. Like, you know, me and Bam, we got a joint project coming out. Sorry, bro, I know you're looking crazy, but as wow, hey, hey, look. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> And the only reason why I say that is, right, because me and you, bro, like, we work. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ever since the first project we did, to the second project, to the fuck it we lit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we work. You know what I'm saying? With Bam, it's like, sometimes it's a little bit harder to get, like, get him to make music. So I appreciate what it took to kind of just, like, build that project, you know? Well, how about outside of music, man? Outside of music, man. Um, just staying committed, bro, to the to like my fitness life, staying committed to the gym, yeah. uh, football. Y'all niggas ain't coming down here either way. So, you know, I don't gotta prove myself that I'm gonna moss y'all up, but it's all good. Um, but nah, you know just saying like that? you said what? I think that we um like when we do are able to like all record in one little spot, it probably will be like in Florida. It should be. It should so, be either that or we can meet in the middle ground in, in Georgia. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother Mecca over there. So no, 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 don't, don't roll my, uh, my Florida plans. Um, <laughs> my bad. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It should be, it should be in Florida. You know what I mean? Um, but no reasons other than business and just work. You know what I'm saying? Right now and Somebody going to write me a verse. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down to hit, hit you know, FLA. I feel like I'm we get y'all up. It's like, like, like a, 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 a SAT crib, you know what I'm saying? Come, come cook y'all up in all aspects, however y'all want it. You're a, you're a Cowboys fan. You, you well, you, uh, by default. According you to your uh, your pinky and your index finger, brother. I'm not sure you're hey, my boy. That's brother, not, that, that salmon right? still came out good, even with the <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just let you know that right now. <laughs> All right, we at halftime, so we got some yeah. records queued up and ready. You know what I'm saying? This is a tailing day, you know what I mean? Uh, DJ, I'll let you mute up. I'll let you, you know what I'm saying, do what you got to do. Wait.
taste it. Shawty wanna fuck me at yeah, a wine tasting. She got a eye for fucking on greatness. Like people mad when they see our faces. Make a nigga laugh, I don't understand races. My money matters, more than they making. I don't let none of that dumb shit make me. I can't put none of my trust in the models. Niggas don't show up to business no morals. She got no dog in them, I'm a King Corso. Bitch got some bad in the bones, I want to touch. She wanna shoot in my video porno. Only your fans care about that Namito. They send the subs, I'ma send a torpedo. I'm so Titanic, I say no with me though. My Caribbean, adios mios. No, this ain't God, it's Yako do Leo. What hit to you for go for me? It's a free throw. Shawty is shallow when I make a deep throw. Wait, shh. Lane niggas peep through the people. I don't trust none of them people. I bet they passed the Ziva. How much I was moved by hatred. Grace in the cup, the little bitch wasted. Shawty won't fuck me, had a wine tasting. She got an eye for fucking on greatness. Like people mad when they see our faces. Make a nigga laugh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Money matters, money they make it. I don't let shit, none of that dumb shit make me. Sit back and relaxin'. Second is green like a been farm cabbage. I can carry no baggage. All the shit is dead weight and a bunch of bad habits. Shit, the weed got me laughing. Drink got me happy. Every day another blessing, gotta celebrate it. Pump fake, but I never show no hesitation. Leveled up, now the whole vision elevated. Fuck with me, got the whole city levitating. It ain't nothing cut you off if you amputated. Like I know that I'm the one that can't be overstated. You in the presence of a god, this is more than greatness. I be rolling with the squad like a sony training. I been shooting for the stars, no, I gotta make it. Sipping wine abroad for the product placement. Yeah, only go for the win. Championship, took some L's on the chin. Like I'm cool, that the crib shit, I'm going all in. This shit a movement, why would I put yeah. Uh. Shit's moving. Let's go. Eyes full of hope. Heart full of optimism, but it's hard when everyone be looking like the opposition. I swear to God, I'm just looking for me a pot to piss in. My parents gave me a good one, but now it's time to get it on my own. Cause now a nigga grown, ain't got time for women playing games or trying to stunt my growth. Just used to get that money north to south, but now it's coast to coast. I swear they putting in their work, their boys ain't even coming close. That's why she let me hit it raw, or maybe it's my smooth approach. I wear my heart on my sleeve, cause my ignorant tendencies. I don't know how to say no or let go to the thing. Things holding me back I swear I'm deep up in it to my neck though I hold my breath Just let the smoke settle It's Italian We about to take it to another level man Young and heartless Do my thing regardless of what they say Cause you know we get that money yeah. Either way nigga Lights out on these niggas Here we go uh, uh. Oh my god I'm alive I never felt this way before Oh oh I hear Angels cry all the time in my mind, in my soul. I swear this game done turned a nigga heartless. I swear the game done turned a nigga heartless. Yeah. Can't tell you how many times niggas switched up on me, man. Yeah. Heart colder than the nomad's world Travis countless miles just to watch my life unwind It's so divine, ain't it? All the suffering niggas turning to Satan crazy Converted minds of these youngins I guess the generation lazy, man Voodoo washing your brain Seventeen, I bet your daughter untamed I show some color, but the truth shall remain It's hopeless And I'ma keep my sins locked down in the cellar No love lost when I kill them I used to give a fuck until they off my fucking plug I can't re-up I guess the jig is up Hot cold, but I'm 38. Kid you not, you get popped, testing yet his grace. Accumulated from all the hatred, now all I know is pain. I'm reacting when niggas clapping, thinking that I'm gon' change, huh? My intellect cannot connect with your frame, huh? These niggas hating, I was relocating, but now it's lights out on these niggas. Here we go, uh, uh. Oh my god, I'm alive. I never felt this way before, oh, oh. I hear. Angels cry all the time in my mind, in my soul. I swear this game done turned a nigga heartless. I swear the game done turned a nigga heartless. Yeah. Green, green, green. Young Green, green, green.
Yeah. You all keep saying, man. You keep saying this Look shit. Look at what the kid define. Skinny Part old of baby. a line. Yeah. Yeah. And expect this, yeah, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Sometimes you gotta spec what's unexpected. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, heart of a line, grind, just like I'm Zion. Look at what the kid to find. I never quit, now nah, the whole squad be flying. Beat the odds, I gotta try. Cause when you black, man, the odds that be stacked. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Yeah, tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Hundred million plays off Spotify. Nigga, where the fuck your play? Hey, tell all them niggas relax. Relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Man, the heart is so cold, bro. Zero below, watch how I get it and go. Business and business, I wake up and grind as I lately. I'm stuck in this mode. The law of attraction keep pulling me faster, man. My decisions keep getting more bold. I got the wings, I can shake up a boat. I be spitting that shit, that be giving them hope. I close my eyes and I pray. Got my girl on the line, but I don't got the time. But I still tell her I'm on the way. And I know that I'm wrong, but I'm scratching the surface. I know that soon I ricochet. Making a miss and I'm making my name. Six feet, put them straight in the grave. Motherfuckers looking lost, find a way. Young nigga got the heart of a line. Grind, just like I'm Zion. Look at what they can define. I never quit. Now nah, the whole squad be flying. Beat the odds, I gotta try. Cause when you black, man, the odds that be stacked. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Yeah. Tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stash. Hundred million plays off Spotify. Nigga, where the fuck your play? Hey, tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stuff in the young and determined. I know that I'm worth it. I know that I'm sparking the flame. Uh, they more concerned. With the money and power, I'm out here just trying to maintain. Yeah, that's why I keep to myself and my own mental health. I just stayed in my lane. Hey, young nigga, gotta stay sane. Hey, finally broke out the chains. Hey, heart of a line. Put so much passion on the track. Got the song crying. Skinny on the beat, TGE, yeah, it's a problem I smoke a L just to fame my problem Try to count me out, but it's top dollar Zion Williams on the top shot I got the heart of a line, grind, just like I'm Zion Look at what they can define, I never quit Now nah, the whole squad be flying, beat the odds, I gotta try Cause when you black, man, the odds that be stacked It's like they be stuffing the stash yeah. Tell all them niggas relax, it's like they be stuffing the stash Tell all them niggas relax, it's like they be stuffing the stash Tell all them niggas relax, it's like they be stuffing the stash Hundred million plays off Spotify, nigga. Where the fuck your play? Hey, tell all them niggas relax. It's like they be stuffing the stuff in the. it's like they be stuffing the stuff in the. Hey, let me talk my shit, nigga. Hey, it's like they be stuffing the stash. Hey, yeah. Hey, TGE. Skinny on the beat. Seven, I can't hear words you saying. I'm about to take you. Can you hear me? Hold on. You hear me now? You hear yeah. Me? That was the best goddamn halftime of all time. Thank you, man. Thank I'm going to just say that. Thank you. Look, this is why I put my trust in Barnes, bro, because I know this nigga got good taste in music. So. Yo, I do. Like I said, I, I listen to the wrong. Um, I listen to, the, to your music, bro, and I found I found a couple uh a couple couple good tracks. You know what I mean? That I could have you ever listened to like my whole discography? Like huh? Have you ever listened to like all my albums, like my whole discography? Yeah, bro. So like hold on, let me go to the um let me go to the I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I think my one of my favorite joints, especially when I beat at the crib, is Coop at the Crib. I listen to that joint a lot. Coop at the Crib, you feel what I'm saying? Um, that was my COVID album. Yeah. COVID. Yeah. COVID. 
Do you guys ever, hold on? Do you guys ever miss like the COVID times though? Like, do you guys miss that shit sometimes? I don't, no. I don't miss that shit. No, yeah, I do not yeah. miss that shit. Kind of, no. I'm a I'm a homebody, so I yeah. think I miss it in that sense, right? Like, I didn't have to go anywhere. Well, I have to do shit. I'm a home. I'm Seven, a you, don't seem like no, huh? you don't seem like no homebody, bro. You are not a homebody. Really? You're outside? No. Hell nah. No. See, y'all niggas don't live in Florida, so y'all don't know. Ask Fed though. I'm a homebody. That's fair. Doing shit. So that doesn't seem like he be outside, bro. Sometimes right. when I want to be. So we have our bets. We have an unfortunate segment this week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have, we, hold on, hold on. Let me let me open this one. Uh, I gave them fifty dollars last night to gamble at the casino, oh. and they failed me. Oh, fumble! It definitely was a fumble. So look, I'm gonna say I'm disappointed in y'all, man. Let's start how the week started. We should, t- yeah, we could talk about Tuesday and then, yeah, yeah. going to Friday. Yeah, okay. I can't find weather report. I should have been a part of Tuesday instead of fucking Friday, right? Shit. Uh, uh, yeah, you or look. today, or today. I don't know, man. I don't think the weekends is y'all days, man. Hey, you <laughs> might be on something with that, too. But look, though, I told Barnes earlier when we were talking, I was like, you guys got a six year ritual. If you guys go to the casino during the week, that's what you got to do. You just kind of hop out and leave. You know what I'm saying? We just do what we do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday sound like a better winnings than uh yesterday. Tuesday did. after work. So, anyway, so we started. We started was well, Tuesday, I, bro. Like I had a gig where I was just fortunate enough to like leave um ahead of schedule. We'll call it that way. Um, and after that shit, on some fucking shit, I was like, yo, let's go to the MGM. Ryan was down. We played some slots, and it was cool because it, that was the first time I went where I developed consistency. Like, like meaning, like, I would be at a jump. All right, boom, I'm out. Go to some other jump. Cool. Let me explore up here. Fuck around over here. Yeah, that's doing something cool. Uh, uh. And then we kind of just wrapped up, and we hit for just something slight. Like, able where he was able to profit, like, at least a dub off of 30. I what I and uh, I came, I, like, literally just net zero. I, like, kinda, I came in with 50, and I left out with 50. Damn, nigga, we know you came in with 50 and left out with 50. Damn. Can you relax? Sorry. I'm sorry. We was damn this for our last dollar on that That's shit. You crazy. feel what I'm saying? I gave I gave <laughs> I gave Ryan some of your some of your, your cut to the slots. That shit wasn't fucking with him. Like, bro, like. Oh, but when it came down to that blackjack shit. Oh yeah. When it came down to the blackjack joint, me and Jazz, we was hitting on that shit. At first. I pocketed 35. <laughs> I took the bitch out. I seen Jazz still here. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it back in. He put it right back in. Yeah, I put it back in, bro. The dealer hit 21 two times back Back to back. Back. Wiped out. Wiped out. That that, was the wipeout. Yo, swear swear to God, bro. Then after that, I bust, pause every single time, and I lost. And then I then 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 all I had was five dollars. He's spitting balls. Yeah, no, it's all good. Five dollars. You might as well L that joke. That's all I had, bro. Was five dollars left. Then I went to you. Feel what I'm saying I went to the slots. The slots was not fucking with me. They was. Not. Look, man. I don't think anything was uh was working for you guys last night. But again, I like I said pre-show. Hey, move, move. I know who I'm sending my money to next time. Move this way with your head. Goddamn. <laughs> Pause. Uh, I know who I'm sending my money to next time. You know, yeah. it's not gonna be either one of you guys. So it Let's seems just, like there is we have a lucky slot winner on this yeah. podcast, and it's our DJ, and I'm giving my money to her next time. Oh no, 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 no. You should oh, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, you should, but me and yo, next time me and Jazz, we go in there and play blackjack, we're winning. We're coming, we're pocketing, bro. I'm pocketing. Hey, Big you know, pocketing. you know what's super crazy? When I was talking to this nigga earlier, he was like, Oh yeah, next time give us 150. I was like, I was like, I was like, bro, I was like, bro, oh, y'all oh, didn't even oh. flip my fifty, bro. You want me to give you a whole another hundred dollars, bro? You can really flip it. That's the that's the deal about I'm it. Telling like, you, bro. I'm telling you, like we can. I'm flip telling you, we can flip it. But you don't got to, you don't got to, and I understand. Like, hey, look, we found. All right, so all right, so if I send another fifty tonight, are you guys flipping it? Bro, you said another 50 tonight. Absolutely. Are you guys flipping it, Cino? Should I send them? Hold on, hold on, Cino. 
Casino is back. Should I send them another fifty to gamble tonight at the casino? Don't send fifty. Send twenty five. Which I wait, hold on. Which I betting on? I'm rocking with the blackjack. I'm rocking I love with the blackjack. Huh? I said I love blackjack. You playing by you want you, your plan is to play by yourself or with a group of people? Ryan there, and I'm playing and I'm playing multiple hands. If if, okay. if I profit first, right, I'm I'm profit I'm first. But then, yeah, yeah send, I'm about to say send a fifty. Don't I'm play by it. yourself. If you play by yourself, you lose. God, if you guys lose me a hundred dollars in a weekend, bro, I'm gonna be so. Oh, mad you lost? Myself. They lost? Yeah, we I lost sent them fifty yeah. last night. Nah, but uh, it was. Nah, let me it tell was, you how to do it. it. Was truly, it was truly me and Ryan's fault though. Like, I'm not blaming nothing. Like, so look, I hit on the slot for like thirty for thirty dollars to put the ticket back in profit, and I was like, boom! I should just left the slot. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Now, nah, let me tell you how to do it on blackjack. I have a new strategy though. Like, I take winnings from the slots, and I'm playing with blackjack because that's just at that point that is kind of just free money. I don't need space. You know what I'm saying? Blackjack. Like, here's here's how you win in blackjack. I, I mean, I would say bet the 50, but that's all Tevin is giving. No, I'm not doing the 50 at once. I know what you're saying, though. Do it bet all the 25 one. on one hand. Cash out. That's it. I know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm do, oh, yeah. See, though, I'm going to do that for sure. I'm going to definitely do that. Yeah. I want Tevin money, though. I want Tevin money. Yeah, no, nah, bet 25 with Tevin money, though. Bet 25. Because otherwise, you're going to lose all of it, bro. You sit there with their ass all day, they're going to yeah, take your sorry. money. You got to be in and out on blackjack. Uh, if Tevin sent 50, first hand, 25. Yeah, first hand twenty five. Uh, but I'm only do that if other niggas is at the table. If it's just you, don't do it. Ryan there. I mean, I'm not talking about just you and Ryan because if no, no, no. Like, it was one like of that, y'all niggas gonna lose. It wasn't like a blackjack table. It was at like they had like a dealer, like an actual live dealer. But it was just like nah, table. bro. No, no. Go to the table with the actual person that you can snag in their face if they fuck you over. Don't go to that computer shit. See though, what is that what you would like? You want to kick refs in the nuts and shit? Oh, that was Kevion. But like, yeah, nah, I'm about to say, I ain't say that. <laughs> this is a wild take, like a, 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 a episode today. I can't fuck nobody up if they they is not they. No, up. I'm not telling you to do it, but I'm saying you don't want to yeah. play with the computer. Play with the live person. I'm playing with it's a person there. It's like a person there. It's a live person. Like yeah, she deal the car, so it's not like a a, a computerized shit. Wait, so they got random so blackjack tables then? like so, at the spot? I, it's hard to explain. I'm gonna try my best. Nah, I've been, I've been just, to it. So they got one where you can look at the the screen and there's an actual person, but it's they on screen and they're not in front of you. They are, and, in they also, of you and it's on screen. It's both because it's like big, like it's like they got hell like seat. They got hella seats. You can either do Balcarat, a roulette, a blackjack. No, do the specific black. I, I'm telling you, bro. I'm a professional blackjack player. Go to the table where it's only like six seats. And the person is standing right there dealing out the cards in your face. And it's only six seats. There's no screen. Fuck all that screen shit. The six and it it gotta be multiple people at the table, at least four or five people at that table. And you be like, well, three or four people, and you be the and y'all two be the fourth and fifth person. Otherwise, you niggas is gonna lose. I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. Otherwise, you niggas is going to lose. And play, you know what I'm saying? That $25, I, it don't matter. Them niggas going to get mad. You're going to play your one hand and get the fuck. Niggas going to be looking at you like, damn, bro, because you're going to come fuck up the table. But so the fuck what? Fuck them niggas. Get your money and roll out. <laughs> Do they have casino? Can you gamble in Atlanta? No. I hate Atlanta for that. <laughs> they don't even have sports betting, bro. Wait, so how you be on? How you Wait, how you be on? I be family? hitting up my Maryland family. You know okay, what I'm saying? I be I calling. You. I be calling. I be, I hit up yeah, everybody in my contact everybody list. That this is on YouTube, you know what I mean? Um, we don't, nobody needs to know anything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's just keep the winners in. Let's just keep the winning winning. Yeah, you're right. You know? you're right. All right. Uh, yeah, so sorry, Tevin, but we got you. We got you back. I do want to bring up this. Oh, go, oh, my bad. My bad. Play roulette. Y'all don't play roulette. I love roulette, but nah, roulette, you know, I'm playing with my, I'm not doing that with, I'm not, I can't do that with, I can't do that with Tevin money. Right, it's 50-50 chance, bro. Huh? Ten dollars. I say fifty fifty chance. You got ten dollars. Yeah, the MGM. I don't even think you can go to the table without like a a a twenty twenty five dollar bar. Yeah. They they don't have a ten dollar for uh. At live now. At live, yeah. Okay. At okay. live, you can do that shit for ten dollars. Okay, Last time yeah, I went, yeah. I ain't been live in years, but yeah. Yeah, I I, I retired from live. If y'all want to hear a quick story, um, yes. I was I I had just. Maybe I was like 22, maybe 23. I don't know how those, but I was over 21, obviously. You know, at live, when you walk through the door, they check your ID. First things first. 
every table you go to before you even play, they check your ID. Mm -hmm. I'm oh. at the same table. Well, not, not every table, but for the most part, most of the time they, they, they check your ID before you start playing or whatever. I That's what they was doing at live at the time I went. I'm at the table. I didn't even move from tables. I would lie to you not. Like after every hand, a different security nigga came up to me asking for my ID. After every hand. So it was like the fourth hand, I just curved out. I was like, bruh, y'all about to give me my money back. Y'all, I was losing. So here was my chance to say, y'all gonna give me my money back because y'all making me lose. Because why the fuck y'all keep checking my ID? So I curked out. It's me, it's a couple other people with that joint. So everybody hit me curking out and everybody just kind of stopped. <laughs> I'm like, y'all messing up the game. You keep checking my ID. So the dude just like, he's like, bro, just, just show me ID. I gave him my gun license. I gave my gun license. He was like, "This nigga seen though." <laughs> he was That's like, "Oh, I need a government official. Uh, uh, I need a government um prescribed ID." I said, "This is not from the government." I said, "This is this is the ID." He's like, "No, I need like your driver's license." I said, "Who said I drive?" You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going off on buddy. He's like, "So, so then he hit me with the, oh, I know you gave somebody your driver's license before because we can see it on camera." I said, "If you can see it on camera, why the fuck y'all keep coming checking my ID?" <laughs> At this point, it's like. I, me, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit drunk, but at the same time, I don't care. I'm mad because y'all keep coming to check my ID. Y'all ain't checking nobody else's ID. It's not like I moved. I've been sitting at the same table, and this is the fifth dude that done came up to me. So I'm mad. So now it's like seven, eight security guards all starting to come up. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going off, bro. And now my man's mocking them. They pulling me like, come on, see, you know, come on, see. I'm like, nah, bro. They playing with me right now. <laughs> That's what go going off. I'm in that joint. So I pull my little Karen. I'm like, man, give me your, uh, give me your manager name. Karen. Give me your manager name. I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to sue y'all. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to report this to the corporate. I'm going, I was going off, but I've never been back to live after that, bro. They pissed me off over that. So that's my little live story. So I don't they like thought, that. They thought you was counting cars, bro. But I don't know what they thought, bro. But they checked my ID five times. But the fifth dude, I gave it to him, bro. He, I was not going after that, bro. I'm like, y'all making me lose, bro. <laughs> that's like, crazy. Y'all making me lose. I learned how to play roulette at live. I had some, I had some nice little, nice little times over there. But I ain't been back. I ain't really been back in like yeah, literally years. No, I, oh. I learned. I learned how to play craps at the casino, the casino way in Vegas. You know, I, you know, people play craps on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's different from. It's almost oh, yeah. the same, but it ain't the same. You feel me? I learned how to play that in Vegas, but they they spanked me. Vegas, they, I, I I don't know. That's your first time going to Vegas in May. It is. It is. This might be my first time in Vegas. All right, I'm gonna give you a rundown on Vegas. I I know we, you know, I don't, but anyway. So what is this Vegas trip for though? Is this just like a random well, Vegas trip? Or... Hi. It's his birthday. Yeah, it's um shout out to uh shout out to Cam. It's his girlfriend's birthday. You oh know shit! Big, Look. big air horn, air, air horn for Nina. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's casinos. As soon as you step off the plane, you can gamble in Vegas. At the airport. At the airport. As soon as you step off the plane. I will say this though: it's probably a good feeling though when you're probably about to like leave Vegas and you're like, fuck it, let me just. Let me play a little slot. You hit no, a slot. It's not, and because Vegas is going to spank you. You think Vegas, Vegas yeah, in Vegas? Vegas, mm -hmm. Vegas ain't know. sweet, but Vegas yeah. be spanking. Well, they, I, I'm not expecting it to be either. I ain't gonna lie. I'm budgeting. I'm budgeting for the L. I'm not. I'm not gonna hold you. Like I'm, 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 I'm putting it away. How, how long y'all gonna be out there? Uh, so it's maybe like two nights, two nights. like three days for real. Maybe. Like, yeah, to be honest with you, I might come. I might slide. Literally, it's, bro, it's I, literally not much else to do other than drink, smoke, and, and gamble. gamble. It's literally nothing else to do out there. So, I'm just mad it's not football <laughs> season. <laughs> so when you go out there, when you go out there, if you plan to gamble, I'm, I'm, copying, I'm copying strong to look at the spear. If you plan to gamble, oh, the spear. If I wanted to do that since, that came, like, since that shit was like, you know, finished. Forgot about that shit. I did too. I, oh, spit wasn't out there when oh, I went out there. I'm gonna love to look at the spear <laughs> on shrooms, bro. If but, just marvel at this this architectural marvel. Go to Planet 13. Make sure y'all hit Planet 13. Is is just because that's the that's like a landmark. You feel me? But trees gonna get you to the real right good up. spots. Trees gonna yeah. get you to the good spots. But hit Planet 13 because they got some good gas too. It's just overpriced, but it is good though. I don't care about that good. if I'm on vacation. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Trees gonna take you to the to the spots in the low key, you know, 
where don't nobody know about these spots, but they got good gas too, and it's cheaper, and it's like regular price. Yeah, we about to get our tickets soon. Everything about to be official tissue. So everybody out there, SATs will definitely be in Vegas in May. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely about to be a movie. I'm about to run into like, damn, you know what? Homie. It's about to be lit. That's cool. Huh? When y'all going? May. May. May 10th. Yeah. Well, or May 11th. We might fly out. See, because I got to work May 10th. So like May 11th, I might fly out early in the in the morning or later, or later that night on May 10th. We haven't decided yet. When you coming back? We coming back the 13th. I might go. I might go out there. See, no, I think you should, bro. You already know me and Tree is definitely gonna set aside some time to like record. Shawty gonna definitely like, you know, what I'm saying like it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. May tenth through the thirteenth. That's what you're saying. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if Shorty wanna go back out there again. For sure, yo, let us know. Uh, Cam already laid the details down in the same group chat that we. I all seen did. it. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. I seen it. Um, it's it's change. It is changing a little bit. Like they trying to. They I think they found a BNB that's actually like a little cheaper per person, like type shit. Like so, uh. I think everybody got the tickets. We just were, like locking in on the t- on a, on the place right now, type shit. Locking yeah. in on the what? Yeah, bro. We about to get a crib, so it's about to be fire. All right, all right. Yeah, just let niggas know. We all gonna be a communication to the chat. Say no more. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk to her when she get back. She she don't went to the store and shit. Let's see when she get back. See if she want to go. But uh, the finished weather report. I guess I what I will say is um, and Cena kind of like saying some shit. Uh, but like. Trey Young has definitely been cold as of late from three point line. You know, that was my little bet. That was nice my trade. all season. That was my bet. And like, he has only been hit maybe like two threes at a time. You know what I'm saying? Not, not even three. I haven't seen a game where he hit three yet. You know what I'm saying? Since maybe the last time I hit for real, for real. So, you know, so that's what I just want to mess it up. Did y'all do that fan duel joint that you sent me? Yeah. The fan duel awards? Yeah. Nah, we want to get to that. Yeah, we want to get to that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all want to, y'all want to get to that shit? Y'all have no takes on the Trey Young shit? Uh, uh I just want to ask, how did uh last night tickets go? They, they didn't hit. Obviously, nothing hit. Uh, well, uh, how, how, let's uh, you bring it up, and I'll start off. I'll kick off uh, the, uh, the Fanduel Awards and shit like that. So shout out to Fanduel. You know what I'm saying? Fanduel definitely sponsor us. You feel me? If not, y'all, it's gonna be somebody else probably. You know what I'm saying? More than likely. I guess I'll kick off. Uh. I have to save the MVP, my MVP and MVT, most valuable player team for last. Make sure you met, specify that we doing NFL, right? NFL, NFL yeah. Vandal, yeah. NFL type shit. I'm gonna wait till like maybe what? We probably wait till the, end of the conclusion of uh, NBA season to do the NBA shit. I'm already got <laughs> my NBA so ready for the NBA <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So look, my I'll say our best strategy that I did add like an award or two. So like if y'all you know just add lib where y'all can. Uh, our best yeah, strategy, yeah. I'll say three to four leg parlays in the NFL served as well, bro. Whenever we kind of uh, like like strive away from that shit, or feeling ourselves a little bit too much on shit. That's when we wasn't hitting. But like the three, really the three, the three was like the the one, bro. Yeah. So that and when we had bat meetings, we legit dedicated like bat meetings when we first started. And we was we was like, bro, we felt invincible, bro. We was on top of the world, you know what I'm saying? So, but we got humbled. So now that we're humbled, let's next time we should just run it back. The same type shit next NFL season. Nothing above three, bro. And if we like one thing really, uh, really four, four. We're okay with four. Fine. And if we're we like okay. one or maybe two things a lot, a lot, bro, let like we should go in more on that shit and really like just take home some fucking money. Like fuck that shit. You I agree. I think we have to uh put more money. On things that we really, really believe in. Yeah. Uh, so too. Yeah. So. Um. Well, while we on this one, and we gonna all go do a round table instead of yeah. just one at a time. Um. I think my personal best strategy, top two anyway, was a lot. I know y'all got the three, four legs, but I picked a lot of legs, but low, low, low risk, low risk. You know what I'm but saying? But look though. I got a homie that does the same shit, right? He'll just mm-hmm. do like everything super minimum, bro, and do yep. like twelve leg parlay, bro. Yeah, it hits. It hits. That's what I'm saying. So those my ones. Now, now you do get them joints where every once in a while you'll hit you'll one leg a miss by something small, and that shit'll piss you off. But those to me are more, um, are more, are more solid than picking what FanDuel offers you because it's just like yep. to me that's fifty fifty. The other ones are a higher chance that you're going to hit it. Um, it's just that everybody got to do their job. You feel me? My I second one. I, my bad. Go ahead. 
My second one would be for NFL specific. I'm gonna be NFL specific. Would be um, and I don't, I don't think y'all ever did this, but quarterbacks, two hundred yards, like the top quarterbacks, two hundred yards and one Damn. touchdown. Oh shit! Smart. Smart. Look. I like that one. All right, now nah, we're gonna run that play. But nah, Jazz, and I know sometimes you don't like to do like the the easy plays per se, right? But like sometimes second those up on a ticket with like that one that up, you're yeah. like feel confident in. It's like oh, it's like that shit works out. Yeah, yeah, I'm down to try it. Look, I'm down. I'm all for it this next season. I'm down for both. Like you know, one thing that we really like, even if it sounds like too risky or crazy, but we'll put some money on it, and then like a lot of just like shit that's kind of like common sense type shit. Yes, all way. I think I think a good uh, another good strategy that we probably none of us. I don't think I, I think y'all was doing it a little bit, but not really like, like leaning into it. But always having that one YOLO play where whether it's one yeah. leg or whether it's ten legs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, where whatever, it gets you a yeah, whole yeah. lot of money. Yeah. Because every time you get on these online, you you watch Instagram and you see somebody hit some ridiculous shit, that be the ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. Could have been us, right? Honestly, like my 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 pick, I, yeah, I think yeah. I picked the right player to focus in on the Super Bowl, Jawan Jennings. And like the way that that nigga went crazy that game, bro. Like I'm, I, I like you know what I'm saying. So like I do want to lean more into that shit, even if I feel like if I feel that shit, bro. Like I'm make I should just make a dedicated ticket to that to that feeling type shit. For, for yeah. weird games, bro. Weird people on the ticket because I like after you said that, I thought the same thing. I was like, I was like, yeah. And that That's was probably not gonna be like, like John Wall Jones, a third receiver. It's like you got yes. you can Debo to worry about. It kind of do make sense. He get the ball and he been going off the whole playoffs. Yep. This nigga threw a touchdown, caught a touch. This what this is going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. One other thing I'm gonna tell y'all to focus on too that 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 y'all wasn't really paying attention to was them specials, them game time uh -huh. specials. Yeah. We, we ain't doing enough, but like, no, nah, the Amari Cooper shit. Remember you that, y'all? The two for the 200, whatever. With no yep. I definitely, I, I, I was on that shit. I was on that shit. I got some. When they be having them joints with the with the every team in the one o'clock game going score or at, or at least score one quarter. See, every quarter. We should do that. We should definitely take that. But them yeah. joints every, yeah. every, every week. I'm yeah. taking that every week. Definitely should take that. All right. Next category. Are you, you Ryan had a comment or? Nah, we can go to another okay. Yeah. All right, bad bad juju picks. Mm. Get to Mine it. is the Saints, the Falcons, mm. the Titans, mm. and Dak Prescott. Nigga, but on purpose, but on purpose. Like I, I literally, I ain't gonna hold you. I do believe in energy. I believe in energy to the fact that I'm literally willing to like lose Jesus. money on it. So like because I do not, I ain't gonna hold you because I, I don't fuck with them niggas. <laughs> I, I purposely put a ticket for three hundred yards and three touchdowns. Every time, if Dak is Dak, he should hit that shit. So I was yeah. like, all right, bet I'm down to lose like five, ten dollars every week on this nigga, just for that one reason. That that shit did not hit, not once, ever. You ever. know what's you know what pissing me off about that comment is that you did not put Gabe Davis in there, right? Because you guys first six weeks, you guys are so high on Gabe Davis, bro. But he was hitting, he was, for us. Hitting. <laughs> he was also hitting for us though. Y'all laughing, but the Gabe Davis was putting in work on a lot of our Tevin. We won a lot of money because of Gabe Davis this season. So we can't do that. We cannot bro, do that. Reason why he's saying that is no, 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 no. No. Yeah, that, 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 I think that's the end. No. Through the first six weeks, great. Worked out great. The rest of the season, that shit did not work out, bro. And we just, and we said it. We said it at one point, bro. We I'm said it. We said I, I I feel you and you're you're kind of right. You're kind of right. And one, it was probably more than it was definitely more than six weeks. Like, let's kind of put some some credit on this nigga name. I I'm so petty, I will literally look research the shit too, to be accurate. But like it was definitely more than six weeks. And also, bro, the Bills had a, a point in the season, mid-season, bro, where they they was kind of like lost their identity for a minute. So I'm not gonna put all that on Gabe Davis. That I think he disappeared because of scheme. And then Khalil Shakir came in the picture and kind of like, I mean, we see what the pick. We, we just talked about it earlier in the show. He on his All way I'm out. All I'm saying so, is, is that he should have been on y'all bad juju picks. All right, my bad juju pick. But, Tevin, I think that's disrespectful to put him on it when he wanted so much money this season. That's crazy that you would put him on bad bro, juju. Bro, you act like he won us the majority of our money, bro. Like Dave Davis was one of the ones, though. I, I don't understand why you look, put – Dak on there if you purposely 
was yeah, taking some random shit. Though. I, put, I, I put it in parentheses, though. Like, that's why it's like, I, I really did that shit just because, like, again, he's going to get one or the other. He's going to get three touchdowns or he's going to get 300. He get dog picks. You got to do your, y'all don't do voodoo dog picks? Hey, look, I'm oh, yeah. big wow. on Dak. I'm big on CD Lamb, bro. They're not. So, All right. My, my juju picks, CD Lamb and Dak. No, no, no. My bad juju picks was the Dak Prescott shit, to be honest with you. Okay. I had Dak on my Your head. Dak well, fucking I didn't, shitty you picks. Know, I didn't expect everybody to have Dak. I'm not going to hold you. I, I don't understand how y'all have Dak. Dak getting 200 every every time. It's well, not that it's not that he's not getting his line, right? I think it's this nigga would put 300 yards, three touchdowns, 3,000 rushing yards. Like, bro, like he do stupid shit, bro. Stupid shit. So and where's the bad in it? Where's it's, the bad in it? It's all bad. You shouldn't do it's it anyway. Bad. Why are we wasting $5 it. on it? That's, the, that's why I do the picks. Though. That's why I do it. That's why I said purposely, though. There's no consistency in it. Like that Okay, so like, all right. So so let me give you mine. Because we I, I like that you said no consistency. So mine is 100%. Josh Allen, unpredictable. If he's gonna get really? over two hundred yards, wow, I'm not unpredictable. Really That's crazy. I feel That's you crazy. Don't want to go. I'm not. Even, I'm not going to go. Yards. I'm not. I'm yards. Not, I'm not, I'm passing not, yards. I'm not saying that. Passing I'm yards. I don't. Saying that. On our unpredictable. Our if he's gonna get. I ain't gonna lie. The Bills profited big for us on our end, but you saying Bills? I didn't say Bills. I said. I'm saying all the Bills. I'm saying. I'm saying Josh Allen. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying I'm saying Josh Allen because it was I picked you know his passing yards and it's unpredictable if he's gonna get over 200 or not. Unpredictable. Well, Half the season he got 200. 200. You know against what teams though? I, now I wish we we had more in depth like research. Well, I, we, I mean yeah, I mean if I if I could put I mean shit pull up the NFL of uh, fantasy yeah. shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying half them games he ain't get over 200. It's like. <laughs> It's like, damn, you feel me? So yeah, he was yeah, unpredictable. Yeah. And another one who was bad juju in the beginning of the season, Daniel Jones. They hyped this nigga up so much. I don't know why he felt yeah, Fuck Daniel Jones. I don't know how I felt for that either. I, hey, look, but I look, felt look, like look, he look, could on, at least on. do something. Don't disrespect my quarterback, first <laughs> like, of all, right? Well, he couldn't get 175 for me one time. <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. Hey. Based off the season he had the year prior, I understand why Cena would take that fit. I, I, I also want to add James Cook. Like in the beginning of the season, like no, I ain't James God, Cook like James Cook, shit James Cook, out of me, bro. And, like <laughs> that was hit. Like and like then then when I like took the under on him on some some shit, he want to do oh like I couldn't get no consistency with James Cook, James Cook, and um I didn't bet heavy on Stephon Diggs this year at all. But like no, no, he no, definitely no. didn't do his job either. But um, that was not a bad juju pick. But Stephon that, Diggs. that's why I said I didn't. I didn't put Stephon Diggs because I yeah. seen early on. Early on, he wasn't getting the what ball. And I remember I said I said Jazz, this nigga Stephon Diggs ain't getting the ball. You like he the most whatever you told me. And then later on in the season, he was like, damn, see, no, I see what you're saying, bro. Yeah, that nigga Stephon Diggs was not Stephon Diggs. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't digging. He wasn't. Digging. <laughs> You know what I'll say is another bad juju pick is probably B. John Robinson, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. I put, that's why I put the Falcons. Well, that's why I put the too. Falcons, bro. I put the whole Falcons for that shit, though. Like, B. John for sure, bro. Um, um, B. John was overhyped. Definitely. I said, no, nah, I don't think he was overhyped. I just think they didn't use him right. You say B. John overhyped. You got a drink for that. Yeah, that is a, that? that is a hot take. That's I don't think he's over hype. Cino, Cino, nah, this nigga get. I ain't gonna lie, B. John do look like the truth. He look like the truth. I ain't gonna hold you. It's just he got to be on another team on the Falcons. I think he was a best player this this season. I, no? I agree, but nigga, he couldn't do shit with them. Bro, what happened to Cordell Patterson? That's my question. He just, bro, he old now, bro. This age, nothing, nothing happened. Bro, happens. he's not that. He's he ain't no older than Derrick Henry is, right? And I, I, well, I, I compare him to. Been playing for a long fucking time, Cino. You know? I mean, uh, Tevin. Cordell Patterson, he's been playing. He's been playing that much longer than Derrick Henry, bro. I, I feel like they've been playing. I feel like I honestly want to say, say he's say. been playing longer than Derrick Henry. I ain't gonna hold you. Cordell Patterson was a, a Viking, bro. Like returning kicks with them and shit, like back yeah. in the day. Yeah, fantasy, fantasy good. wise, one year, bro. He carried my whole team. Yeah, he did too. Oh, listen, he, he did too for me for a couple seasons. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That boy right, is a uh, I'll get while well, you what you what you looking up Cordell Patterson, like how long he played. Yeah, yeah. look up Cordell Patterson and Derek Henry. Let's get some confirmation on that. And meanwhile, I'll do the good fortune picks, right? Mm-hmm. So um Purdy for two or three passing touchdowns was money. 
Mm. Uh, C Mac anytime. I though that wasn't one I did a lot. It that nigga scored damn near every game. Like bro, that was just money. If you did, that was just like a a, a dub pick for real, for real. It's going to be yards. That ain't yards. Just any time. Yep, yep, a hundred percent yards and and two touchdowns. Think about that real quick. The yards. I I, I now I don't like doing a C Mac on yards receiving or or rushing because I don't. Never you don't receive. like doing anybody on yards though. To be I'm honest right. with you, you okay. really don't. There. Right. Right. C Mac exceed his line. Every, it's like C Mac wait until fan dude put his line and be like, all right, <laughs> hold my so, beer. I'm gonna double up. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> hold my beer. Like you, you gotta be at 60. Uh, good easy. Fortune good fortune picks. Okay. Easy. Um, C Mac. I love C Mac for the good fortune. Um Pittman for receptions also. I forgot who put us onto that between Ryan. I don't know who did that, but like shout out to y'all for that. Pittman for receptions when he was healthy. That was that was money as well. So that was uh, I put uh, T.J. Hawkinson up there for good fortune picks, and he T.J. Hawkinson was a part of our first hit. Yeah, he was a part of our very first hit. Um, in that Vikings Eagles game, Cortland Sutton. Really? Is that a hot take, Cortland Sutton for good? Kind of. It's kind of a hard take. Yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta check it out. I like Tyreek Hill on that good fortune list. Um, no. for what? Oh no, shot. Anything, shot. Take a shot. Take your drink. <laughs> Take your drink. Wait, Tyreek Hill? Because, because, bro, no. I, Tyreek Hill was bad juju, bro. Maybe for you, not for me. <laughs> How? You <laughs> picked the wrong Tyreek game, Hill ain't bro. shit. He you never picked, hit. You picked the wrong games and you picked the wrong shit, Hey, you must be talking about You got to take a shot, though. You got to just take the shot. You, know? you must be talking about for unders. If you're talking about for unders, then maybe. Bro, hold on. What did you take for Tyreek Hill over Any line, bro. Any line for Tyreek Hill, he did not hit. Because I've definitely taken Tyreek Hill on multiple tickets and it's hit every time. Every yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tyreek. Uh, yeah, on our end, Ty Tyreek served his purpose. We ain't bet heavy on Tyreek Hill either this season, though, either. We should have. Uh, but I remember yeah, having I, a conversation. Because when I did, I kind of agree with Cino a little bit. I remember having a conversation with you niggas. I mean, I don't know who it, who it was specifically. It might have been everybody in the group, but I'm sitting here. I'm pulling up their stats. I'm like, yo, look at Tyreek Hill's shit, bro. He, that nigga is up and down, up and down, up and down. Maybe he got over 100 yards, maybe. I mean, yeah, a couple times. A couple times. No, he was pushing 2,000 this season. So, like. I mean, more. Yeah, because some games he probably go crazy. But, bro, he wasn't getting what he was supposed to get, bro. He wasn't getting what he was supposed to get. Y'all got any other good good fortunes? Uh, I put good. Uh, Amon St. Brown. Amon St. Okay, Amon St. Amon Ross St. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Like he that. he definitely went off. Yeah. He went off. What's the, what's his counterpart? What's the other nigga name? Uh. Um. Jim. Uh, Reynolds. Yeah, Josh Reynolds. Oh no 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 no. St. Brown and uh. Oh, oh the tight end the tight end. Yeah. The, what's his name? What's his name? Oh. I, I know you're talking about. I just cannot think of Laporta? his name. Laporta? Sam Laporta. Laporta. Yeah, yes. Yes. Sam Laporta was a sneaky, sneaky clutch player. Clutch. I know we ain't. Fire, I know fire fire clutch. Honestly, early on in the season, bro, um, y'all tight end Ferguson was like a sneaky one. If, if niggas was hip, I, I ain't get the chance to ever hit on Ferguson, but like, well, pause. But like, yeah, that, that, shit, that, shit was a, that shit was a good one at first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anytime Dallas is going to throw to the tight end, Dallas always tight and heavy. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Best best team to bet against. Commodores. I struggle. What you that. say, C though? Commodores. I picked the Eagles, yo. Hey, yo. I, I struggle with that one, bro. Which which one? Which one? What, 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 that one. I I did think about putting the Eagles down. I didn't put. I didn't put any team down. But that bro. the Eagles was my first thought. Though. Think about our first hit wow. like, as, a, as a unit. It was a uh, the Vikings Eagles game, and what we yep. put we put uh, Addison and Hawkinson. Like I knew, like I, that should just make. I knew that that's what was going to happen. Yeah. I knew that we was we going to lock down Jefferson because Slay locked his ass down last season, and I knew that they had to throw the ball somewhere. Hawkinson is lit like that, yeah. and Addison is the rookie, and I, I seen him in college. I know what he's but talking about one game though, but like y'all did good. Nah, this that's season. an example though of like you no know, that bro. I bet on the they Eagles did the average this season. season. They did not do good, and it hit. Like I'm just saying, like the best team that I bet against on was my team. Real shit. Isn't it crazy though? I feel like we all probably picked our teams for this particular like segment. No, nah, he picked the Commodores. Yeah, I picked. Oh the yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I, I just knew they was I'm losing. Going. I'm going. But I picked them. I picked them. For like uh for like money line, like who was gonna win or lose. Like I thought that's what y'all meant, like best thing to bet against. Like yeah, no, nah, for sure. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Lose, yeah. lose. I'm like, yeah, Commodores, nigga. That, that, I ain't think they was winning no games. Oh well, I guess I guess well, in my example, like that was like, yeah, no, nah, I bet against my team, like on like what would what would happen to them niggas, and I kind of oh, bet okay, all right, all right, yeah. Like, I, I never, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie, through the whole season last year, anytime Cowboys played, I never bet on the other team. It's my every time the Cowboys come up, Mr. Barnes just comes down. This <laughs> is <just> crazy. <laughs> It's like you say the Cowboys three times, Mr. Barnes put up here. Yeah, I, I never, I never bet on the opposite team that we was playing. I only bet on our players, so bro, that's why I said the Cowboys. No, nah, bro. Yeah, see, you, you and Tevin have that. Like, yeah, as, bro, yeah. I know what my team is gonna be shitted on, and I'm a bet against. I'm a bet against them. I'm a bet. Against see, them. look, but here's my thing, Jazz. Even if my team gonna get shitted on, I just bet the under on my team. I don't bet nothing on the other team. Wow. Nothing. Okay. I feel <laughs> Okay, okay. Y'all got any other uh, well, best team to bet against? What y'all, what y'all say? Tell me, you said Giants. Yeah, I said the Giants. Yeah. Wow, for real. Yeah, well, so you guys, we were, I agree with him too. I agree with that too. Calm we were fucking shit house this year, bro. Like, so, I don't like, recall we were... any time that we ever put the Giants. I, honestly, I put the Giants on some shit for some miracles. Like, I put a Giants right. money line because it just looked so good. Like, bro, that was the Tommy DeVito. That yeah. that was the Tommy DeVito era, bro. The Tommy <laughs> DeVito <laughs> era is over, bro. The Soprano, oh, the Soprano era. It's over. I'm actually mad he won that many games. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a top three pick. This nigga over here winning games. Now we got a yeah, six. That shit pick, is bro. crazy. Damn, that shit is crazy. <laughs> Uh, y'all hurt y'all sales more than yeah. That's shit crazy, yo. We could have legit got drunk, man. Y'all in the Commodores are very. Sick. It's crazy. That I think the Eagles and the Cowboys. No, nope. stop, 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 oh, stop. Don't the, compare. The, don't the, compare, the, don't the, compare the, our greatness to that shit show, bro. Don't compare bro, our bro, greatness. greatness. The Cowboys do something though, bro. Oh, Super Bowls, nigga. What you talking about? Tevin, oh, y'all struggled. Even those seasons, y'all was not good team. That's what I'm saying. Hey. When you win the Super Bowl, you win a fucking Super Bowl. I You're agree. the best team in the league, agree, nigga. What saying, are we talking though, about? That, but to get there, nobody was saying like that season, bro. Y'all niggas was a wild card team. Didn't Which win. makes it even better. Who won the Super Bowl? By the way, was it the Cowboys? Who did what? When the year the Giants won the Super Bowl, who won the division that year? Was it the Dallas? I'm sure. Had to be. Had to be Dallas. Had to be because yeah. it couldn't. It couldn't. I would have remembered. I feel like if it was us, yeah. couldn't have been the Commodores. It was never the Commodores. Never the Commodores. <laughs> never. I barely remember times of them being in the playoffs at this point. I ain't gonna hold you, y'all. Because it was way before we were born, my boy. No, nah, I mean, no, nah, I mean, it was. I mean, we from here, so like, nah. Trust me, we knew when the, when they made the playoffs, but like, eh, whatever. But anyways, best team to bet on. Best team to bet on. I put the Bills. I put the 49ers. 49ers. I'm with Tev. Yeah. I put the Dolphins. You put the Dolphins. No, Ravens. Okay. I put Ravens. Okay. I put Ravens. Wait. I put Ravens. Wow. So, we all see some good ones though. Back to I, the I put good 49ers fortune. was at the top of my list, but I, I I I ended up giving it to the Ravens. Wow. Okay. Shout out to you. Shout out to you it's for calling Ravens. that one. No real shit though. Two so back to the good fortune picks. Mozart, bro. He was super clutch this year too. You were right. Acne. Acne as well. Acne. Yep. Bro, they had players, bro. They had players that, that that stepped up. Bro, Tua came in kind of clutch for us a lot of times, whole time, a few times, few times. But see, you talking about teams versus players. You say, well, the overall though, this overall, like that's the team that like. And well, Ryan said the Bills. I ain't gonna hold you. Well, I had some more awards to give to the Bills though. That's probably why I didn't do that. Fuck but, the like, Bills, bro. Bro, the Bills, sir, bro. Tevin, hey, you hey, cannot. Hey. Tevin, we made so much money off of the Buffalo Bills this season. Bro, Josh Allen stats. Uh, Gabe Davis stats. Like, bro, we we was really hitting off with him. Khalil Shakir. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Once you told me about Gabe Davis, that nigga stopped hitting. And you I, it could be me. I told you. It could be me. I ain't gonna lie. I believe it's in him. No. You, you, every time I tell Cito about some shit, it don't it don't work. I'm about to say it could have been me, but <laughs> I'm like, no, it wasn't you, bro. You told me about Gabe Davis. I'm like, all right, let me check him out. That nigga did nothing. He always lost my team. He disappeared, bro. But like, yeah, it was yeah. Gabe Davis. I can't defend it because it's the truth. I can't defend it. But I still believe in Gabe Davis, though. I'm still going. I'm betting on him heavy next year. Whatever he uh, plays. Uh, I don't unless he's the number one. To be honest with you, I really don't. Nah, bro. Number two is where Gabe Davis belongs. Okay. Bro. All, right. All right. That was the whole SAT yeah, segment, sure. bro. Like, sure. I, you know nigga, I mean? legit. Hey, Sino, they legit bitch me out, right? Because. 
I didn't want to put Gabe Davis on a ticket one. But it hit, right? but Tevin. But no, no, no. It, no. Hold on. Me. Let me finish. Let me let me finish. Fine. It hit it hit that week, right? And I got literally bitched out because it hit and we didn't put it on a ticket, right? Hmm. After that, nigga never hit again. <laughs> so was I right or was I right? Hey, it could have been because I started that. Oh, you was wrong and right. right. You was wrong and right. Nigga, I was majority right. Majority. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I see some good team. Honestly, the Niners probably take the cake for that. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I, it was between Niners and Ravens for me. Yeah, it was, you know, neck and neck. But I know we had to pick one. Oh, I, quick, what's up? Quick thing. Uh, the Giants won the uh, NFC East 2008 when they won the Super Bowl. Yo, the NFC East be nasty. Was trash. That was that was they was they they was twelve and four. Bro, did you say nineteen ninety eight? No, 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 no. no. We didn't even win ten games. Yeah, we didn't win ten games a year. They they, they, they did not win twelve. We were like we were like nine and nine and seven or something. Or ten and six. Yeah, Ryan, you gotta take a that was bad research. You gotta take a shot for that. That's what it says. Two thousand. to you. Like Tevin is a, a whole Google is bullshit. For you. I'm an Eagles fan telling you that's not the. Look it up, bro. I'm not looking it up because I know it's bullshit. Yeah, that's. I'm. 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 I'm agreeing with Tevin on that. All right. All right. All right. What's the next one? I got two. I got two for this one. You said clutch player, player of the year. Clutch player of the year. So like he just came clutch on tickets and you didn't really expect him to come up clutch. That's kind of how I viewed it. Um. Brock Purdy and Joe Flacco. Fuck you guys, man. I'm what? Saying, I said Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper? Clutch, clutch player of the year. That one, we did not just put for, Amari just, Cooper on tickets, though. He just had that, that one ticket that was fire. But it was clutch as shit, though. That was a clutch moment. Now, we had clutch moment. We, just said, we should have clutch moment. So, yeah. I'm going to say I'm gonna say this, right? Like, because I did put in a lot of bets outside of what we did for FanDuel at Hard Rock App, right? CD Lamb came through clutch for me every fucking week, bro. It makes you know why. I don't think there was a week where CD Lamb didn't get over on receiving yards, bro. Hey, I didn't put Lamb as a clutch player because I wasn't looking at it like that. Um, the way I was looking at it, who did I put? I put, I, I guess I was looking at it like that, but I chose Christian McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. That's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. He was clutch for yards, and I'm, I'm going to be specific, for yards. Not necessarily touchdowns, because me, I, I couldn't believe that nigga was getting so many touchdowns. It's right. like, but he ain't going to get it next time. That's how yeah. I feel. I'm like, hey, like, he not going to get it. <laughs> so that's how I feel. But I'm like, he going to get his yards, because he's going to be. I'm like, yo, it's. Because every week, I'll, I will guarantee – I'll guarantee then there most of the weeks I put, like, Christian McCaffrey for two. I'm like, there's no way he's not going to get two two touchdowns. I was on the opposite. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm going to just do it that way. Yeah, I was with his yards, but I wasn't – I never – I'm never the touchdown person, though. Like, I know you, yeah, Jazz, exactly. you big on the touchdown. Exactly. Like, picking niggas with touchdowns. Me, I'm like, you never know. But they be giving random niggas touchdowns. Like, I remember when the Dolphins brought in their fucking third string. Random ass nigga, you was like off. you thought it was somebody else, and I'm, I'm like, mad. bro, I'm like, who is this nigga yeah. that got the first touchdown all right. season? Most of, and and Avanti was supposed to be getting the touchdowns, and then they just brought this random nigga in. It was like, give him the touchdown. Okay. I couldn't believe it. The office was going crazy this season on tickets. Like, I couldn't believe it, bro. All right, um, so I'm right. McCaffrey with my clutch play, clutch player of the year. Most valuable team. I got two for this one as well. And it's some of y'all, it was some of the ones that y'all said it's the best yeah, team for other tip uh Jones. But I said uh my most viable teams was the Bills, the Bills and the too. Niners. Not, I don't not know. The Bills came up, I think the most clutches for niggas on tickets, bro. I hate like, to off of Brandon Ayuk against, against the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Like I, they was going crazy for us, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. You just pick the shit. And they for they, me- they that one was hard to pick only because, like, bro, we really didn't do a lot of, like, money line type bets this year, right? Uh, I started away from it. Uh, but I guess if I had to go with, I guess, I guess the Dolphins or, yeah. I, I said the Cowboys for me. I, I was going to say the Cowboys. I'm not mad at that either. I'm not mad at that. And the reason I picked the Cowboys is probably because I know them. And right. 
And again, it was my most valuable because when I'm picking a player, I kind of know what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, all right, I know he's going to do this. I know they're going to do that. I can guarantee Dak getting over 200 every goddamn game. You know what I'm saying? That's no question. He's going to get a touchdown. Easy. Uh, CeeDee Lamb, he's going to get 80. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, fucking Ferguson going to get a couple catches, four or five catches every game. So it was that was the most valuable thing for me. I'm you know hearing my problem when I gamble as y'all talk, cause like on this y'all be on the spectrum of honestly it's funny because I I call Tevin off for being like the risky nigga, but like y'all be on the spectrum of the safe guarantee shit, and I be on the spectrum of well if they are if they're they're this capable, I'm gonna go this way this way. I I e Trayon for five threes anytime I pull up, right? Like yeah, so I just kind of know it's a problem of mine. That's what's up. And hey, I, bro, you like you like to pick the lines, bro. I said it earlier, bro. I I don't like to pick the lines, bro. I, anytime if their line is ten, I'm going for six, eight to eight. Tell them, bro. Sense. Like legit, tell them. It's like sometimes whatever the line is, you just gotta take like a twelve a leg parlay less. with like a little bit less than what their line is, bro, we and you're good. Next season, we you're gonna good. try. Honestly, we can we can give it a, a shot this NBA season. Honestly, let's do it tonight. I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm done with the NBA. I might be done. NBA is bullshit. I might be done. Yeah. The NBA is truly bullshit for me. I can't explain me every time. The NBA, that shit going to be hilarious. I think it might be. We got to give out bad awards, though. We got to give out like. Hey, but I'm going I'm to I'm say what we should do as as the shots and take shit. Um, just the idea where I seen other people doing and, and it and it's, it's a good strategy. And, it, and it's pretty much like a, a, a small loss leader because. I know y'all bet outside of outside of this one bet, but y'all should do ladders. Every every week or every day, whatever, a hundred a hundred plus. Mm-hmm. Nothing more than that. As long as it go plus a hundred as far as the end goes. So if you bet ten, you win twenty. Then you bet twenty, you win forty. You bet forty, you bet eighty. Double your bet. And just let Double that bet. shit. And you still do your other bets. You know what I'm saying? That you do, but those. Like black you know what I'm saying? Those and just let that money build. You feel me? I agree. We're 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 gonna take some different approaches next year to uh I think we should how definitely we do those absolutely. Um, I think we should incorporate that in the you know, absolutely, in the absolutely, that. absolutely. And we're gonna we're gonna come with it by se- come September, we're gonna come with it for real, for real. I think a Ceno ticket should automatically be, part be every of, week, yeah, yeah, every yeah, every every episode like the Ceno ticket just at least they're a football season. Right, like even if you're not here for basketball, at least football season. Yeah. I, I do hockey too, but that's yeah, I like nigga. I hit the most luckiest hockey ticket the other night, bro. Like I'm not, I'm cool with the hockey tickets. I gotta watch more of that shit. Trees, hey, you, you don't have to. You don't. You don't I'm about to say to. no. You don't. Hockey is straightforward. If the team is good, they're gonna win. They're gonna I, it's win. not I like basketball. Fail to even like entertain this conversation. It's, it's like, no, like no, it. nigga, no. We should. We should. I, like the one shit. I don't care what y'all. I don't even care what y'all saying. Y'all bro, I literally win. win. I literally won four, like fifty bucks off of five dollars the other night. I agree. Bro, on hockey You're right. Shit. You're right. Bro, my, my take is my take. On, <laughs> <laughs> my, my take on sports betting right, is so that, t- put a, a hockey ticket in there. We'll do my take, day. my take on on sports betting is the less you know about the sport, the more the chance better. you are gonna have to win. <laughs> like I swear to God, bro. Blind, blind betting, bro. That's yeah, what it I'm is. Telling you, bro. Like your your emotions is out of it. You feel me? It's just like yeah. shit, I'm just gonna pick the team that look like yeah. All right. Tell you. So most viable player might be controversial. Okay. I got I got two again. Josh Allen and Mike Evans. Good. McCaffrey and Lamar Jackson. Jackson. I'm sorry. Who? McCaffrey and Lamar Jackson. I got McCaffrey on okay. mine. I just picked straight McCaffrey for MVP. Gus McCaffrey Edwards. and Lamar. Gus Edwards. Nigga, anytime we put him uh, on a ticket for any time uh, touchdown, bro. I like hit. I like it. it That's just an interesting it one. So I don't, like I don't like it. Mike Evans was Mike Evans had That's because you didn't put that nigga on ticket enough this year, bro. No, I didn't. Because we have sure. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. I ain't think they was giving that nigga the ball ever. <laughs> Gus, Ed, Gus, Gus Edwards was the truth this year. The I ain't think they was ever year. giving this nigga the ball, bro. I'm Man, like, bro, Evans, not, he not running shit. Mike Evans was Mr. Consistency until like towards like the end of the season. Like that's when they wasn't getting touchdowns no more. But Mike Evans for like the anytime. Mike Evans for the receptions. Sometimes even yards maybe or like the alt yards. Like that shit was just definitely like a consistent play. 
And Josh yeah. Allen again, like we want too many, we want too many big ones off of like the Bills this season to like discredit any of those players outside of Stephon Diggs, you know what I'm saying? And James Cook. Sino, you know, how you feel about the anytime? I'm not a big fan of the anytime. Like the later anytime we got in the man? season, bro. Like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the anytime no. touchdown, bro. Yeah, I I that. That's why I was never I was never with that. Like Jazz, like I said that earlier, Jazz was the big touchdown person. Yeah. I and they would hit it. And they hit it. Hey, look, hey, look, I'm not knocking you. Hey, this is the one thing I'm not gonna knock you for that you did. I I'm I'm yo, I give you your props for having that much faith in niggas. But me, I'm like, anytime I pick the person who's supposed to get the touchdown, they give it to the random nigga. The nigga I've never heard of. I'm like, I've never even heard of this nigga. How you get a touchdown? I, I don't strive to. Like, one, like, I honestly, like, I kind of start with my team first, kind of just view the matchups and figure it out. But then I don't just, I just don't strive too much away from, I guess, like, common sense, I guess. Like, I know enough about certain teams to kind of, and I think I know enough about teams to kind of just figure out. Who's gonna be the one or the X factor or this and the third? I'm just I'm the comp. I'll oh. bet on my comp. Okay. Let me ask you this. Can I ask you a question, Jazz? Yeah. How do you feel about neither? Well, about Travis Kelsey not getting a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Crazy. I think it's I feel crazy. like I feel like the whole world picked is that it? nigga to get a touchdown. Is it though? Though we bet on it. I know we bet on it, but like, is it though? Like, look who. If, if you play at Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, bro, who are you trying to take out the game on as a defense? I feel you on that, but, it like, is, at the end is, of the day, though, it's like, you're Travis Kelsey, bro. Huh? I said you're Travis Kelsey, bro. Like, you went off the whole playoffs, bro. <laughs> Why is the Super Bowl any different? Why is the Super Bowl yeah, any he, fucking he, different? He didn't have, like, an effective game where he got catches and shit. He, he kind of – he still had a good game, you know what I'm saying, just to get a touchdown. I, was, I believe I, that the I, entire I, world I picked him to get a touchdown. One, for sure, get a touchdown, bro. Was Christian? I mean, uh, Isaiah Pacheco. For sure. Let's be very clear about that. Like, if you asking me, twice. I thought Isaiah Pacheco was a guaranteed touchdown that game. Not Travis. I think, I think there was a lot of guarantees that we took that weren't guarantees, right? Because even Pacheco over on the yards, right? This nigga missed by like five yards. I guess. But if you was open to my Jawan Jennings idea, then some of those figures wouldn't even exist. Mm. That's crazy, cause we definitely oh. put uh we definitely put other shit on them tickets that ain't hit. So for sure, all right, we'll name them. We'll name them, cause those are group decisions. Am I correct? Hey man, it's not about me right now. You know, did, did y'all hit on? Did, hey, I mean, did y'all hit anything on Super Bowl? So, so Cena, remember that I one did. Put for the Brock Purdy yards? Uh, of I think boost check a touchdown or some shit. It was um in a Jawan Jennings anytime. It was like the most randomest ticket like I, I made. Bro, remember that shit hit when he was at 13 yards. His line was like 12.5. It hit in the first half. Like his yards, his line hit for that shit. Bro, they took they took the yard away. And I I remember the game, my nigga. He didn't know the Brock Purdy shit. Yeah, yeah. I could get sacked. He didn't do none of that. He didn't kneel. He didn't do none of that shit, bro. And he still took that fucking yard away. I ain't gonna hold you like Vegas. Vegas like took some money away (laughs) on that one. Real shit. Real shit. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, this game, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't be tripping when I gamble. I ain't going to hold you because I seen what that is. It's gambling. It's gambling. Like, it's gambling, bro. Like, it just is what it is. But that was I'm cool. definitely going to have a budget for next season, football season. I'm about to put my budget together to the That's side it. and be like, it's this is my gambling one. Yeah, right cap space. You got to put the cap space right. You know what I'm saying? Got really? budget for the right players and oh, shit yeah. like that. You got to put yeah. the cap space together and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think we're doing a weather, weather report, though, right? Yeah, uh, with yeah, the yeah. awards and everything. Yeah. We're, we're where, we, where we at next, though? Like, this, uh, the NBA shit? Yeah. Speaking of, the, speaking of NBA? Yeah, the NBA NBA talk. Uh, All-Star Weekend Recap. Uh, it was trash. Hey, yo, bro. No, it was, it was super trash. trash. <laughs> bro, in the, All-Star game, game, super trash. in the All-Star game, both teams scored 50 points. Like, each quarter type shit. Like, it's no competitiveness, bro. All they, I'll all, say this, bro. All they want to do moving forward, they just want to shoot threes and just dunk. That's it. And don't play no fucking defense. The NBA has the wrong idea of what entertainment is, bro. I'll say that straight up. Bro, the dunk like, contest is fucking they trash. Fucked up giving all these players all this, all this, um, all this shit. Like, you know, hey, let me ask y'all this. How y'all feel about Dame, Dame, Damian Lillard getting the most points, though? Should have came to Miami. I don't give a fuck. Should have um, came to Miami. I'm just kind of mad I didn't see that. I didn't. I'm just kind of mad I didn't see his weekend. 
I didn't project a Damian Lillard weekend. That's, Me neither. That's, that's the only thing, like on some fan duel shit though. Like I didn't, I'm just that's the only thing I'm mad I'm, I didn't see. Look, I, I didn't. I didn't either. I couldn't believe that shit. If we been talking, honest, we're talking about a weekend though where like nobody plays defense, bro. Everybody's just out there to score. Like, yeah, Lillard bro, would it's, probably it's be not, the, it's Lillard not, sounds like an option for like a no defense game, real shit. Look at the All Star game, bro, like fifty. Yeah, I was thinking, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I, I thought, like, Luca, like, my pick, my sneaky pick, like, for like the MVP, like, was Luca. I thought Luca would have been the one that made sense because, like, he could do, like, like get rebounds and do, like, the flashy passes and all that shit. Plus, he can shoot the three and he can also do all that, all that other shit offensively. So I was like, Luca might make sense for MVP here. But, you know, I was just wrong, clearly. It is whatever. On some gambling shit, All Star Weekend was a failure. And also, just like as a, I guess, a fan of sports, All Star Weekend, I didn't even Horrible. care. Bro, we were just doing other that shit. Is trash. I don't like now. I don't even remember that weekend. That shit was so lame. Bro, the dunk contest hasn't been good since Aaron that Gordon was- and Levine, bro. Nah, no, bro. bro. Was last weekend. Okay. Nah, it was last weekend. I think it was last weekend. Yeah. Bro, trash, bro. Mag McClung won the uh, dunk contest again. And two he times won in a row. Two times in a row. Exactly. Uh, bro, fucking Jalen Brown jumped over Kai Sinet. Yeah. A short ass. That shit was crazy. That nigga, that nigga was flexing like he just, like he just accomplished some. Bro, you jump over, you jump, bro, bro, you jump over like somebody that's like five foot. Bro, it's just instead like of jumping over people, fucking Shaq, people, 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 and he was in a chair. People seen that shit before. That's all. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That shit just, you know. That, I just think there's I no creativity, bro. That's the thing. I have no emotions to it. I and I just didn't watch the All Star Weekend shit. Didn't care for it. It's that simple to me. Yeah, bro, I'm done with I'm done with bet, sports betting until um football season come back. In the meantime, <laughs> I am on uh, my stocks. I'm back on stock trading. You know, what I'm saying? okay. So if anybody want to, what know, about Olympics though? So you know, Olympics coming up. Bro, I don't watch none of that Olympics? shit. I don't watch none of that shit. So I don't know. You gamble on shit though? I'm pretty sure, bro. You can't. What? Say, bro, you can gamble on almost everything. Hey, I, hey, one thing yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for them to gamble to bring in is that slap box and shit. I know y'all see that. Uh, the power yeah. slap. <laughs> you know what they should that. have? They should have uh, betting on ping pong. I will. I'll be watching niggas yeah. that be watching uh, ping pong. No, nah, table. Yeah, table tennis. They should have some table tennis. Oh, ping pong, bro. <laughs> bro, I bet on horse racing. That should be hitting too. You know they got. You know you can bet on uh on uh what is it called? Uh, Call of Duty. Not on fan. Yeah, on on fucking prize picks. Oh bro, shit! Can we can we, can we add uh, prize picks to our weather report, bro? Yeah, nigga, you guys have access to prize picks. Easy. Hey, hold on. If y'all don't got, hey, if y'all don't got prize picks, let me send y'all my code. Let me send y'all my code. So y'all it's sign up on me. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send you my code because I'll benefit from it. You know what I mean? Nigga, Cino will benefit from it. Exactly. I said it first. Yeah. Right, yeah. and he said it first, so he claimed it for real. That doesn't matter. It does matter, even on your first matter. <laughs> if I see this all, we're just getting off. off the referral. That's it. All right, so oh, we can still do a referral. Yeah. Uh, what I'm down to still do a referral with Ted, bro. All right, bet. All right, bet, bet, bet. All right, so I guess Ryan, this was your topic. This is actually y'all, 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 y'all the two people with the topic, so y'all can bring in y'all. Um, you know. What's your, what's your so I was gonna say, what player duo is under the most pressure to win an NBA title this year? That y'all feel? Probably yeah. Jalen Brown. Probably Jalen Brown and fucking Tatum. Uh oh. Uh, what player slash duo is under the most pressure to win an NBA title this year? I like yours, Kevin. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. I don't, I don't like Jason Tatum, bro. So I don't why, why, why not though? I don't think Tatum, bro. Tatum is not that, bro. I think five dollars on Tatum for MVP should no, be no. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose your five dollars because of the new rule. He's healthy. What's well, five dollars, bro? It is what it is. All right, so all right, lost. seven fifty on it then. Let's put let's put the remaining balance on on Tatum for MVP. On right. Tatum. On Tatum. Out of all the players in the NBA, bro, give it Embiid or something. Hey, and look, he he can't get it because of the new rule. So, you gotta play, you gotta a minimum play 65 amount of games, games to get MVP. Everybody hurt that's lit. Holly Burton and B. Luca, nah, Luca, Luca, 
I'd like to put five on Luca too. That would okay. be a good one. I give it to Luca over Jason Tatum, bro. Bro, I don't like Tatum. I don't like Tatum either, bro. I, I'm not. I, yeah, I feel you. Tate, I'm telling you, when we do the fan duel for NBA, it's Tatum going my bad juju pick. I hate that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him, bro. <laughs> That boy be picking him over for points. Don't yes. Yep. And he don't hit. Bro, I picked him for t- 25 one time. He couldn't even get that. Yeah, 24. I'm going to have to see KD and, uh, and Book. Hold up. We ain't doing bad juju picks, right? Oh, oh, KD and Book? Yeah, for they do them. Most pressure. KD, I think KD got to win a ring. I like I like KD. All right, I like that. I, mean, I say Giannis and Dane, bro, just because it's them the East. Too. It's yeah. the fucking East, bro. And y'all not even looking like and with an MB, an unhealthy MB, y'all still not even putting confidence in people to like the Jack of Wolves. Yeah, all right, yeah. Bro, if you say if you say Giannis and Dame, I, I agree. Lock. I'm gonna say this though. Everybody is afraid of Miami and the fucking East, whether they want to say it or not. They're afraid of Miami. Tevin, they honey, are y'all struggle. They with- are, bro. Bro, y'all struggle y'all way every year, bro. That shit get old, and it's going to burn out eventually. Tell me, that shit going to burn say? out eventually, bro. Whatever you say, bro. It's going to burn out eventually. Hey, bro, when we're going to have... Right now. I'm not... Look, this when is we're like, going to have the episode... Out of, every, season, out, of every year, out of every year, I done said, like, how y'all, y'all ass not going to make shit. This is the most ass and ain't shit y'all been, bro. Yeah, It's not happening. And hey. hey, sports news, I forgot to add. I showed y'all the brawl that happened uh last night. And we still kicked their ass. Y'all beat them in the game? Yes. Yeah, we won. We yeah. won their ass too. Y'all out of control, bro. Y'all over here like beating on like, <laughs> now we're out of control. Y'all got a tall ass nigga beating on Alvarez. Bro, what's up? Fuck, fuck the Pelicans, bro. Fuck them. You do a fuck about Miami, the Pelicans. Miami out of control, bro. Hey, all I'm gonna say is it's Hemi time, bro. They poked the bay. Hemi, Hemi is activated right now. So Man, whatever, y'all. Well, what else we got? We got good updates, or is that is that an NBA? Uh, oh no, tell me what's your NBA news shit. Steve, I oh, I, yeah, I didn't have anything. NBA Steve first signs two years, thirty five million extension with the Warriors. He spelled Kerr wrong. You spelled Kerr wrong. Oh. No, I didn't even put that in there. I didn't put that shit in. There. I don't know who typed that. Oh, I did type that. Oh, hey, thank you, Tevin. I was definitely, I was definitely drunk when I put that shit in there. You yeah. can't spell Curve or Belichick right. right. Can't read or write, literally. I don't know how to spell hey, Belichick on the top of my head. I ain't gonna I don't spell Belichick either. <laughs> Fuck. I just, I just, that's just difficult. Feel a check. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Ooh, that's a rap yeah. ball. Huh? I'm surprised. I'm, I'm mad. I ain't think about that. Stop. Stop. All right. Goat update. Stop. Nigga, that shit about to be fire when yeah. I say it. <laughs> yeah. um, nah, nigga. Steve Kerr, nigga. Don't skip over your, your updated Twitter for NBA news. Uh, good for Steve. I'm a coach right now. Guess what? I got a hot take that he's overpaid now. The, the war era that's is not- over. It's raps. I'll take a shot with you because I agree with that shit. I think so, too. He shouldn't be the highest paid coach right now. They just paying him off of his past accolades. But um, uh, shout out to him. I like. I'm not mad at anybody. That his past play. accolades, bro. He had the best shooter in the fucking NBA history, bro. Like, suck. Oh, he had, he had it. I'm not going to oh. discredit him as a coach. So he had the coach. He had the coach that team. Stop, Tevin. Stop. All he had to say is, "Go out there and play, guys. You guys got it." We're talking about Curry and Clay Thompson at the height of their career, bro. Stop, stop, stop. Nah, stop. bro. Bucky and Draymond up. Green. Bro, and you got to manage all of those egos. You are a head coach. All you're doing is a man. You're a manager. You're a manager. You have to manage all those egos. Make sure they listen to the plays that we we drawing up. Make sure that people is on their diet, on their game. If you say so, bro. Then KD come in town. Easy rings, easy rings. Stop, bro. <laughs> Yo, look, I hear this argument all the time. They're like, Steve Carr is a better coach than Eric Spolcher. Like, Eric Spolcher is a fucking go to coaches, bro. Probably you heard that from, bro. I've, he I've heard that from a lot of people. Bro. Rings with, oh, never mind. A lot of people. He's up there with Greg Popovich, bro. 
Tevin, cut it out, please. Ooh, uh, Wait, Eric Spolstra is not up there with Greg Popovich? No, he's the fuck not. Stop. Oh, my God. Spolstra goes oh there to Oh, my Lincoln. God, bro. Popovich made a dynasty. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Bro. Are y'all so, that delusional? Uh, are y'all that delusional? Okay, so, where, so where do you... They've won from? one more ring than us, bro. They got five. We got four, nigga. What, what, what bro, are we talking that, about? What are we talking co- about? Who's that coach during the big three? Spolstra. Nigga. Spo- oh, you want to majority of the time. You want to discredit Steve Kerr for having the greatest shoes of all time and Draymond Green, but not Spolstra for having the greatest player of all time and fucking Dwayne Wade. There's a difference. You had multiple great shooters of all time, Ray bro. Allen. You got Ray Allen at the time was the best oh, shooter. Ray of Allen all was time. coming off the bench. Nigga. Ray Allen at the time. What are we talking about? No. And he still hit that clutch oh, ass shot for y'all niggas to win the first ring. So you can't discredit Ray. Bro, he wouldn't have hit that bro? shot. You had a Chris Hall of Bosch Famer on your bench. Kevin, stop. you had a Hall of Famer on your bench. You want to discredit uh, uh, Kerr, but you want to not discredit Spolstra? That don't make sense. Because what did he do after that? all that shit disappeared? Spolstra? Kerr? All oh. day. All fucking oh. day. Pavlovich went to – Pavlovich had a dynasty, then came back and won some more rings. On y'all, matter of fact. On Spolstra. Nigga, I know they have one more ring than us, bro. One more ring. What's bro, the difference? So, What's so the difference? Bro. Again, where do you rank Spo at? Bro, how, bro, how many rings? Spo was in the top three, bro. Stop. He has two rings. He's top three. What? My life. Spo he- has. Spo actually has four rings, bro. Because he was with yeah, the that- team when we won the fucking first ring with Shaq. Bro, I'm about to. I'm about Spolstra's to. Spo is a great coach, bro. Spo is a great coach. But where do you rank from that? Where do you rank him at? He can he can be top seven in my lifetime right now. Oh my god! Dude. You talking about NBA <laughs> or all time basketball? <laughs> NBA or oh. NBA? 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 Is he even better than Doc Rivers? Yes. Wait, Is he even better than Doc wait, Rivers? Wait, wait, wait! Who has more rings? Who has more rings? Who has more rings? Bro, he's not. He got. That's the question. Rings. Before. Let him get past. Let let him not be debated with Doc Rivers before we can talk about Greg Popovich. And what then you we'll, say, bro? Let's, Jesus let's Christ, bro. What do you say? Let's hey, see, you are the biggest Heat hater in history, bro. Let's see him win a ring. You know, see, I want to give him credit before taking bums to the fucking conference finals and fucking finals and shit. Stop it. You are the biggest no. Heat hater. It's okay. It's all good. Bro, I'm a Dak hater. I'm a Cowboy hater. I'm a Heat hater. I'm a I'm a hater to everybody that y'all like. I don't care, bro. I don't give a fuck. Good. I'm happy you admit it. I'm not a hater to none of these teams. I like when Miami lit. I can't. well, how many times I gotta say? No, that? you don't, nigga. Literally, bro. The last two playoffs, bro. Man, we on. sit here. You talking shit, bro? Stop playing with our bro, team, dog. Is not a, he's not in. He's not mentioned with Popovich, bro. Popovich is in the round by himself. Now, okay. uh, Eric Spolstra, oh, all jokes aside, is probably top five in my lifetime. Okay, well, whatever you say. Some type of credit, but he's At not least. with Popovich. That's stupid. It's fuck for y'all to say. Okay, Popovich. so he he. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me let me let me say this. He's not with Popovich, right? Who has one more ring than him, right? Yes, it's probably been coaching. How many, way how, longer, many more losses, bro. how many more losses in the finals does he have versus Popovich? Uh, we you don't know because Popovich about? never got there, bro. Pablo Popovich never got we, where he won rings. Stop, We've been to more finals than the fucking Spurs have in their history. Stop. stop in their stop. Hi- bro, I'm talking about coach versus coach for coach. You talking about history? I'm talking about coach for coach. History, coach for coach. Spo, what? Spose beat him what three times? Well, this had a heat episode. Y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all should have, y'all should, y'all can bring this back next next week or whatever. But bro, y'all niggas is very fucking ignorant and stupid to say Popovich is anywhere with Spolster when That's he be crazy. losing rings. You're very That's ignorant and stupid to say. How many, so. how many more? What's the L column looking like versus rings? Look it up. Look it up. What's the L column looking like? I've done the research. Look it up, bro. Popovich. Please, never no, no, no. Listen, okay. listen, listen. Real quick, just. Like all you have to do is listen. All you have to do is just listen. All the, like Tony Parker, um, t- uh, Duncan, the center before Duncan, Greg Robertson, I believe his name was. Um, David Robinson. Um, whatever his name was, Ginobili was all drafted. These these are these are players drafted from Popovich from the system. 
raised in the Spurs system and one rings his way. He didn't buy a ring. He didn't go out and buy LeBron James and Chris Bosh and Ray Allen to win oh. rings. And then we've seen what happens when Spolstra doesn't have that type of fucking ammunition. He loses. So what are we talking about? In the East is weak. Pavlovich had to compete with Kobe Bryant and the Shaquille O'Neal. Pavlovich, hey, what, you don't want to get into that, though. Pavlovich had to compete with Kobe Bryant and, Sha- and Shaquille O'Neal for dynasties. What are you Spolstra had to compete with what? When you had LeBron James. What are we talking about? Cut that shit out. Y'all are crazy as fuck. Y'all are ignorant. I'm very disappointed in you and you. But even thinking that Eric Spolstra belongs to be in a center for Popovich, that sounds very that, ignorant. That is crazy that you don't think they deserve to be in the same speech. He's but it's all good. It's all good. Let's move on. He says, what is that flag behind you, bro? What'd you say, Sino? That's crazy. You should take that down. Let me give you a score because Ryan got no not, Ryan got nothing to combat what I said neither was said. So give me a score. They can't even No look. nigga. Cena was asking me a question, bro. Huh? Cena was asking me a question. He doesn't get Bobby, a score. What'd you say, Cino? Take that fucking score back. What'd you say, Cena? No, no, I asked him about the flag behind him. I was just I got his favorite, I got his favorite team right there. Right there. <laughs> you oh, the right the fucking there, baby. To open the season. Cut it out with the Giants talk too. Y'all piss me off now. Y'all had nothing to even combat what I said. He had to compete with Kobe and Shaq. Who did y'all have to compete Bro. with? Who did y'all have to compete with? LeBron went to LA. Who did y'all have to compete with? Nigga, the Boston Celtics, bro, of that time. What are you talking? What is like? What are we Boston having a conversation Celtics, about? Bro. This is what I'm saying. Y'all had to buy in a player when Popovich drafted those niggas. Y'all had to buy in players to do that. Cut it out. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Whatever you say. Y'all had the best player of all time. Whatever you say. I had nothing to come. Give me another score. They can't even say nothing. No, 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 don't let them win, Sam. Don't, don't let them win, Sam. Score. You know they have no matter, bro. Coaching is fucking coaching. Hey, they, 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 they no, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking for these. They gotta baby. look up, Sam. I'm going off, I'm the, off, the, the, off the memory. I'm off the memory cooking these niggas. Y'all forgot look. about second Kobe. Y'all forgot about Dirk and Whiskey. Bro, we're talking. Oh, first of all, okay. All right, hold on, wait, 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 no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Let's talk. A, okay, let's talk. A, hold on, hold on, hold on. With Brian, what are y'all talking about? If you get Pavlovich, LeBron James, cut it out. Bosh got caught on. Two times with LeBron. We are talking. We are talking about a shit ass Lakers team, bro. What are we talking about? Kobe was the best fucking. What? Tony Am Parker I... was better than Kobe or Shaq? And Kobe and Shaq? They weren't a better player than either or. It was a better team, right? It was a better team, right? <laughs> how, how, how was they a better team, Tevin? Oh, look, you silent again, huh? No, you nigga, you're, you're, you're sitting here. Yeah, Drake nah, Drake you're, nah, yeah, you're sitting here. You sit here talking about Kobe, all this shit. I'm talking about they beat Kobe. Kobe. Talking they beat this. They beat that. About what coaching had to do to win championships, and Spoelstra had to get the best player on his team to win two out of four. Oh, bro. Crazy. Stop. Stop. Don't compare. Spolstra we to are gonna Kobe. win them regardless, niggas. Stop. And y'all losing them. Y'all lose a lot. Y'all Stop. lost to LeBron too, and y'all lost to LeBron. I get it too, though. I get it too. Look, if I if I, I would lose LeBron. Lost the motherfucking I'm Warriors fan, Popovich and yeah. LeBron. If I was a Wizards fan too, don't even go to I'd Miami. Like, what are we even talking about? Stop. I don't go to Miami for the fucking American Airlines arena. The fuck? Biggest heat hater, about? biggest oh, heat oh. hater in fucking history. I'm not. Right here. Y'all biggest are heat hater in history, bro. Y'all on the heat's nuts, bro. If y'all think that Spolstra belongs with Pablo, oh, Pitt, sorry, I'm a fucking fan, bro. I'm a fan. That's my team. Well, all I'm saying, bro. All I'm saying is that Spo is a great fucking coach. Does Kyle we, Shanahan and we, and we belong to the conversation? Does Kyle? He's a great coach. I said that. Already. Yeah, the fuck I said he does. Because he's been there. My lifetime, he don't belong. Just like no other quarterback right now belong with Patrick Mahomes. None of these coaches today belong with Popovich. But you sound crazy saying that. What the fuck is Pop doing, bro? What is Pop doing? If Pop is at him, if Pop is crazy. Crazy. who's under him? Bro, Pop can retire right now. Bro, Pop retires this year, bro. It's he, his no, no coach is talking him right okay, now. Okay, but I where agree. do you bring all the other coaches? And guess what? That's not and, and Spolstra also had Pat Riley, who also had rings of championship experience before him. Pat, like bro, Spolstra is in a system of Pat Riley's. So that's like giving that's like giving uh 
Bro, it's the same. Bro, don't cut it out. I'm cooking y'all nah, right now, bro. No, you're not. You're you're going by circumstance, bro. Like who gives Pat a fuck Rod, if Pat Rod, it's Pat Pat Rod. Rod. bro? Who 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 makes the decisions when when Pat Riley was a coach when the Dwayne Wade and Shaq won? Pat Riley was the coach, right? Spoelstra was under Absolutely. Pat Riley's system, correct? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so you guys agree with me that he comes from? So a who won country? the rest three, bro? Who won he the won, other three? He, he won three okay. and also lost how many? How many? How many have y'all lost to versus Popovich? And when y'all was winning, the fuck Tevin, Tevin, got Tevin, there. Tevin, Tevin, Tevin. When y'all was winning, all I'm saying, you still haven't said nothing to my point. Popovich had players that was drafted in his system, and they won rings and was a dynasty against fucking Shaq and Kobe. Another dynasty. They they competed with another dynasty. Two dynasties in the West. Who got there oh, more? Stop, stop, Tevin. Stop. Look, that's two dynasties in the West at the same time. That's fucking crazy. You niggas was in the East with LeBron and motherfucking Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Still went two and two. And since that, and, and after that time, y'all went to the finals to lose. Cut it out. And guess what? It's still all the Pat Riley system. It's, at the end of the day, it's still Pat who Riley. Who got there more? Huh? I said, who got there more? <sighs> Tevin, you, you cannot have this conversation. Okay. You, listen. You can't have this conference. How can the same person that says it doesn't it doesn't matter if you lose if it doesn't matter no, if, Tom, if, I knew you were going on, right back there? How can the same person that says when you get there and, and, and lose it, it don't count say that who got there more? You can't Tevin can't say that to me. Tevin can't say that. So you can't use that argument if you never if that, that's not what you believe. Who got there more? So what is this? So which one is it? Are we hypocrites now or should we just move on? Which one is no, it? No, we're not we're not hypocrites. My the point is, bro, my, 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 look, 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 look. My point is, my look, point is, I what are you here. asking me? I Hold on. Asking me, where are you ranking Eric Spoltre? That's if, you're asking me a question. You're not combating anything I said. I just said for the umpteenth time that he could, he's possibly top five. All just aside, he's probably top five in my lifetime. And after that, I hey, love you. Follow me, right? After that, I put a comma and said. Just like Patrick Mahomes and all these other quarterbacks today can't don't belong in the conversation with Patrick Mahomes. All these coaches coaches today don't belong with with Popovich. That's all I'm saying. Spoelstra was a great coach. I disagree with you with that Patrick Mahomes I, shit. But I, I'm gonna yeah. let y'all continue. Okay, well we can get there though. We can we can get there if it's that if it's that important. We can definitely get there. But like, what are we what are we talking about? We're talking about the and and really you should probably you probably should have said Pat Riley versus Popovich. Yeah, because 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 um Spolstra is from his system. That's like if Steve Spagnoli, if Steve Spagnolio goes and wins two championships, and he's coming from Andy Reid, and we doing the Andy Reid versus Belichick debate. That's shit. Not, but I get not that to the Spagnolio. I get that if you're a coordinator you, or assistant wait, coach wait, or wait. whatever, right? Oh, but no. like Spo was literally just a video coordinator, bro. Video coordinator went to the head coach That's position. Right. Pat Riley was bro. So what? He came from a system. Pat Riley was assistant coach, bro, for Pat the Riley Lakers. A lot what of like assistant coach, and Pat Riley was also a head coach. Pat Riley's also look, y'all him now and, and and getting niggas from Publix. Exactly, which makes our greatness even better. So thank you, I appreciate you. You didn't, y- y'all niggas said nothing. Love, give me the score. Give me the score. <laughs> Give me the goddamn score. Give me the score. These niggas ain't Give me the goddamn score. You just agreed with me. You literally just agreed with me. How did I agree with you? Howie is the one making decisions for your raw fan team. You just agreed with me. He's asking me a question of where do I rank Spolstra? <laughs> that's not. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. What I said was, what I said was, Spo came from the lowest rank of the motherfucking coaching staff, bro. Spo was never assistant coach. He was never that, bro. Bro, Pat Riley after he retired from NBA was a, a fucking uh, a color coordinator or color commentator for fucking NBA games, and then he got an opportunity from the Lakers to become an assistant coach, then head coach, then won. So my point talking? is, Pat so, Riley was a head coach. He was in an assistant coach position. No, don't give him a fucking right. score. He was a head coach. He was an assistant and coach. He knows how to run the team, them. bro. Stop. I already got three of them. I don't need no more score. Stop. Stop. All right. What's the next subject? What are we going to next? Next subject is y'all niggas. <laughs> y'all are trying to shit. Nah, nigga. Y'all niggas are stupid. Um, like stupid. I mean that. All right, no, bet. All right, fine. That was mean. I would beat you up. Fuck it. I'm mean. Y'all no. stupid. 
man, y'all stupid, man. Go to update, man. Damian Lillard yeah. becomes All Star MVP, man. Good for them. I think that's crazy. Cause he ain't do shit all season. Damian Lillard. Let me not say that. Now I ain't gonna hold you when we do the bad juju for the NBA. He's a candidate for the bad juju. He's a bad. He's a candidate. But I mean, shout out Dame Lillard, whatever. I don't. He's again, I ain't gonna. Taylor Clark becomes uh yeah. Maddie's top NI, NIL athlete passer Shador Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Listen, I, I did that one at um I did that one at Iowa uh, Taylor Clark jersey, yo. I, I really do. I hope that the Mystics aren't doing well or whatever. I just want Taylor Clark. I would like to play Taylor Clark in GP. That'd be fire. I'll say that. I will say this. Since you said something about Kaden Clark last year, she's been balling out. She definitely been balling out. Yeah, man, because I have an eye for greatness, bro. I know who's but the masters behind these systems. And shit. And it's, it'd be Pat Riley, you know? Um, <laughs> Juju Watkins passes Caitlin Clark's freshman record for most points scored in a five-game span. <laughs> Juju, Juju, man. We got to watch it. We got to watch it. <laughs> All right, uh, the Super Bowl. All right, so boom. Now, Stino also said this. Stino also said this, right? What is the Super Bowl streaker. Uh, no, I'm gonna read the story first. I'm gonna read the story first. Super Bowl streaker was a Las Vegas local who placed a fifty thousand dollar bet. Uh, there would be a streaker during the Super Bowl LV. He ran on the field and cashed himself out for three hundred seventy-four thousand dollars in a thousand dollar fine. That is. I seen those what Cino said in a legend story, but if it's true, it's a win. I'm about to say, bro, if you if you if you scroll down Google, there is multiple stories about the amount that the dude bet, who the dude actually is, how much he actually won, and actually there is one story that says he didn't win at all. He actually lost the money. Damn. Because they said that, um, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how that correlates, but it said that Vegas never really put that bet on um, on the books. So he paid for his ticket. There was some one ticket said he paid for ten thousand dollars for a ticket to go to the game. I don't know if that story that y'all read said that, but it's like four or five different stories about that same shit. So I don't believe none of it now. All right, because of that. Fuck all this shit. Give me y'all closing reasons why uh Spolstra belongs with Popovich. I want y'all closing statement. I oh, want Ryan's he, first. Bro, he, first of all, he's a great fucking coach. He knows how to orchestrate a team. He led us to beat the fucking Thunder and the fucking uh the fucking Spurs. He's a great fucking coach, bro. They said we never beat Milwaukee. Oh shit. Look what happened, nigga. We beat Milwaukee in the bubble. <laughs> In the bubble, did they think we were going to the motherfucking finals? Bad. No, they didn't. They were like, oh, Miami's in the playoffs? Cool. Bro, we've beaten the odds, and I think that's every, every enough. fucking body underestimated. Proof enough. Okay, Bad. so when in Eastern Conference Finals play, um, during Spolstra's, anytime Eric Spolstra had to go to an Eastern Conference Finals, what team did y'all have to play? With Eastern what Conference ammunition? Spurs, Dallas, Eastern Conference. Uh, oh, Eastern Conference. I mean, last year, last year itself, Boston, bro. Like, we beat a better Boston team. That team was way better than us. Um, I'm actually talking about the wins this time. Who y'all had to beat to go to these places? Boston. <laughs> the last two years, they've been a better team than us, bro. Yeah, with, with LeBron. Bro, we, we didn't not, have LeBron the last two years. What are you talking you know, about? We beat, back up on this. I'm just trying we to like, beat we beat Boston with Jimmy yeah. Butler and Bam out of bio, bro. What are we Jesus talking about? Spurs had to go against the Lakers with Phil Jackson, who won who who was a part of two dynasties, nigga, two dynasties already. Y'all know that that's that's who he had to go against and beat, bro, to get these to, to get We're not his. talking about Phil Jackson though. I am because Greg Popovich had to play Phil Jackson. Why aren't you following what I'm saying? All right. All right. So I'm saying, I'm just saying, that's all like, yeah. 
that does that does not that does, does that not mean anything to y'all as far as getting to the championship? So we're talking about two coaches that had to play each other in order to get there. Eric Spolstra, Greg Popovich. And Popovich yeah. also beat that same super team with the same people that he drafted, correct? Yeah, but we beat them too. Leonard, so what, what's the difference? Indiana and a Kawhi Leonard who came from Indiana, right? Okay, they won one year, we won another year. Right? We beat them as well, though. Y'all beat them as exactly. well, we beat, but they beat y'all and they didn't have what y'all. Why are y'all? Why are y'all be acting like kind of slow right now? Y'all not understand? No, what? nobody's acting slow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's <laughs> acting slow. You're trying to convince us of something. Yeah, I mean, you're talking over me. I'm trying to let's talk. Let's talk one at a time, so maybe y'all can understand me a little bit better, right? Y'all understanding what I'm saying is Greg Pavlovich has accomplished a lot with a lot more less than Eric Spolstra has had in his career. Correct? Y'all understand? That's what I'm my, my, what I'm saying. Like Pavlovich is up uh, is compared with the Bill Belichick's, the Nick Sabins of coaching. That's just I'm just saying like that's just the the, the that's the territory that he's in. So I'm saying when y'all saying Eric Spolstra belongs up there, y'all should bro. That's crazy talk. Okay. You say so. So, you know, do I deserve a score or no? No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the only one that had a convincing argument just now, too. That's right. I mean, based off, of, based off of the convincing argument and the non-rebuttal from Tev and Ryan, yes, you have the score. score. But factual, I wouldn't know. Because I don't, I don't follow it. Uh, Look, we're talking, we're talking you know, about a close. The Spurs were a dynasty, and the Spurs were a dynasty, and they both played in the same era. We are talking about a we are talking about a coach who has been a wrong huh? We're talking we're talking about a coach who has been around longer that has about the same amount of rings as coach Spolster, who's, has been around a, a lot a lot head know. coach wise? No. Bro, he's been a bro. So why are you bringing so to my point then? So what are we he, talking about? What are we so why are you bringing him in the conversation with Popovich okay. then? So your point, you just said something, you just said that. Okay. I didn't say that. You said that. Not me, you. Not me, you. That's fine. You said I didn't even double, I didn't even double back to this conversation. You talking about shit. I'm not you talking about my pitch. You not even saying nothing about the conversation, bro. Okay. I'm lost. Oh, Mr. Man. Barnes, I'm lost. Greg Pavlovich or Eric Spalter. Eric Spolstra. Thank you. Thank you. Come on now. Come on now. Anybody with the eye test, man. Give me a hey. Give me a score. He said Tatum. He said Tatum too. Oh, oh yeah. Now y'all solid. No, no, no. He don't be paying attention to basketball like that, bro. Thank you for that. He said, bro. He said he said fucking Tatum like Tatum's a fucking coach. I got five. So. So so why does it matter when he says Spolster then? You ask him pop the Cino, I mean Tevin and Cino, Cino, tell them to just tell them to stop. Because I like I have they, no more argument no, in this way. Spo is a coaches. great Spo is a great fucking Tevin, coach, but bro. Tevin just said that he wasn't even as he wasn't even long enough to compare to be compared. I'm gonna say this as a person that's uninformed, listening to y'all argue, Jazz is winning. I'm gonna say that. They should just stop. Jazz is winning the argument. I don't. I'm not saying Jazz is right, but I'm saying he's winning the argument. Okay. Because I ain't hearing y'all really say much. You know what I'm saying? It's Jazz. Not saying at all. Just stop. Y'all not even making an. Y'all literally not are not making an argument. That should just stop. Yeah. So we can end the show on a W for me. I'm going <laughs> to go to the MGM and hope your carries over. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all niggas will want me some goddamn money today. Oh, so. Seven, so what are you gonna do? If you look, send it to her. That's that's all. I, that's my best advice. Yeah, Shawty is really the fairy. Two, right. two time. What's your what's your cash app? Hey, Tev. My cash What's up, Cena? Tev, listen oh. to me. Don't let them niggas bet on nothing else but twenty five on the first hand. All right. Only so I'm if. I'm only only if. if. No, no, no. Send the fifty though, because you can do it twice. Because again, if you if right. you bet twenty five right. on blackjack. Right. If you bet on yeah. 25 on Blackjack, you're going to win more. Right. You know what I'm saying? I lose one hand, no way the second hand. But look, but look, only if they go to the live table with a live person and it's more than just two people at the table. <laughs> it's not just two people at the right. table. Let's bet. It's multiple people at the table playing three hand. But you don't know. You ain't there yet. Nigga, it can be just you at the table. It be like that sometimes. 
See, no, what I'm saying is it don't matter who's at the table. They deal it out regardless to the hands. Okay. Okay. You heard what I said, Tevin. If they do What's anything up? opposite and you lose, tell them to give you money back. <laughs> Refund. That's now nah, that's fair. This fifty, this fifty could be refundable. How about that? You know what though? Yeah. Because I'm I'll not even playing. With I'm not even gonna play with the full fifty. It's okay. I'm not sending you guys my money anyways. I'm sending oh. the real winner my money. That's ah. there you go. There you go. Yeah. Y'all talk, well, y'all talk. Y'all can talk and communicate. We'll set that shit up. We about to wrap it up here. We appreciate everybody. This shit's been a lit ass episode. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate Cino. Appreciate Kivy. Y'all for coming through. Yes, hey y'all. For next week, we got the merch, and you know, y'all follow us on Instagram. Promote it. Get some pictures out for y'all so y'all can, uh, you know, get y'all shit. God damn. We got out there.